working. That's always the big concern with every single live stream. Can you guys hear me? If you can hear me, I'd like to see a little bit of flirt the chirper in the live stream. Uh, go ahead and uh, type on out, on out if you can figure out what I just said. Um, there's a bit of a delay, so I could just be currently talking to myself until everything catches up. But I do see a lot of you guys in the live stream. Uh, I see Amanda Panda. I see Abandoned in Space. I see Rix Rax Bits. I see Theolon. Wait, Theo Theolon? Oh, it's working. It's actually working. Yay! Up eight, we got a perfectly. Wagongzu got a perfectly good flip chirpler in there. Yay, I can see everybody. So I am multi streaming. So if you're on Twitch, I can see you on Twitch and I can also see you on YouTube because it's whatever platform you're comfortable with, really. And I'm looking this way, but I'm also looking this way to see the live stream. I'm loud and clear. You guys can hear me. <gasps> Yay. Okay. I feel like I need to make this bigger for my old fashioned eyes. I don't know if I can do that or not. Yay, lots of people are finally catching it. Okay, I am up at an early enough time, I think, because it's currently 11.22 a.m. in Tokyo. It is Friday morning. For those of you that don't know, I had a bunch of teeth pulled. I had my upper wisdom teeth pulled and one more of a molar that was kind of just like growing down into the nowhere lands. Um, I've had my soup, I've had my yogurt, and I've had uh, my morning medicine, so I'm feeling fine right now. Oh, background music is loud. Let me just pull that down a little bit here. Okay, music is down. Um, and um, I also will switch over to the Animal Crossing partial screen so we can test the music there as well, okay? Here we go. It is just starting, Michelle, welcome. And, and I didn't get a chance to see where everybody was from. So we've got name-wise coming in here. I feel, I feel like I need my laptop so far away and everyone's names are so tiny and long. We got Honey Bunny. We got Meloti, we got uh, Jenliette, we've got Angel Angela, Monica, Color Souls, we got Jello Jelly, um, we have Carlos, his name went by so fast, we got Moreau 4007, we got Isobel Marahi, I think. Um, wait, wait. Jay Puri, Ash Brewolf, we've got Obsidian Moon. People who are from New Zealand and Australia, we are all in the time zones. Oh, it's better now, right? Okay, good. We've got Alberta, USA, New Jersey, Nova Scotia, Manitoba. We've got New Zealand, California from Texas, Michigan, Arizona, more Texas, Florida, Honolulu. We got Kansas, Windsor, Ontario. We got Washington, North Carolina, Toronto, more Texas, Hawaii, Michigan, Texas, New Jersey, USA, Mexico, Maryland, Ohio, Georgia, Scotland, New Brunswick, Minnesota, Michigan, Florida, London, Ontario, Romania, Tennessee, England, Michigan, Minneapolis, Minneapolis, Dallas, California, Manitoba, and then we got hello, which I liked. Okay, I'm gonna switch to the mid screen and we're gonna see how the sound goes here. Here we go, ready? Watch this transition. I'm back again. Game audio sound opinion, everybody. Of course, the music just, just happened to stop. <laughs> of course, the music just happened to stop. Where the, where the music at? Costa Rica. We got Savannah, Georgia, Colorado, East Coast, USA. We got Tulsa, California, Germany, Brampton, Canada, Australia, Brampton, Canada. That's um, Gil Cree said they're from Brampton. I used to go to a comic book store there because... I like comic books and there weren't very many. There was one in the mall. Bucket barf, pulling out the pig emojis. I don't know why the Animal Crossing music has just abruptly stopped, but um, before we get started, I'm waiting, here we go. I'm waiting for the music to come on so that you guys can tell me if it's too loud or not. I got an excellent knockoff controller. Look at it, look at it. It has tiny ears. I absolutely love it. <laughs> And I'm gonna put on my, uh, my gaming gloves. This is my upcycled um, soda pop container. It, well, it didn't have soda in it, it had alcohol in it. But I bought this like pop top remover that removes it smoothly and doesn't cause you to cut yourself. Here we go. Okay guys, game audio music has finally come back on again while I see Sherb on the screen fishing, which you can't see, but Sherb's my favorite. How does it sound? Does it sound okay? Here we go. Gaming gloves are going on. 
Do I ever play Splatoon Animal... Splatoon, Martina. Oh, Abandoned in Space. No, Splatoon looks like it's tons of fun though. Basically just looks like pain-free um, paintball, right? How am I? Uh, Blue Prince and Mephonic? Um, I'm doing all right. Uh, I think I could have been much worse. The doctor was super, super like amazing at not opening my jaw. He got, I had EDS. He called my specialist. He was super caring. It was the first time in my entire life I've had a doctor ever like care. He even booked me a parking spot. So my friend drove me up and took me back because I was drugged out so I couldn't do anything. And he's, he booked me like the only parking spot they have on the university area. Like they don't have parking, not even for him. And he booked it for me, especially because he knew that I'd have to like use my cane after surgery and everything. I was like, wow, is this the first time that I'm experiencing benefits from having any kind of a handicap? I think it is. It was amazing. I'm just like, I mean, how amazing can it be to have your teeth pulled? Not that amazing, but the experience you have of going through difficulties with having like a, a chronic illness on top of the norm uh, is usually like you're just prepping for hell, but ended up being so good. So I'm really chuffed. Incredible bedside manner, yes. Uh, and yeah, this is a nice pack. It goes like this and it like wraps, so it's awesome. All right, I think it's very low swelling, to be honest. Uh, let's go ahead and jump on into my Animal Crossing world. I'm embarrassed. I haven't been on for a while. I, I have played by myself since the last stream, so it hasn't been since spring, but I'm concerned that there's going to be cockroaches in my house that I'll have to kill. And I think my island needs to prep for um, the winter time, basically. So here we go. People are saying video is a bit choppy. I wonder if there's just too many things going. Okay, here we go. Into the world of Animal Crossing, everybody. And let me know along the way if you need music turned up and stuff. Look at how schmur I am. I'm so schmur. It is amazing, right, the late bloomer, that they treated me well? Yeah, it's a pretty amazing thing. So some people have said they have abandoned their island. I know the feeling. Um, it gets kind of overwhelming sometimes, like when you have to change from summer into winter. For those of you who don't know, it's kind of like a freestyle situation. Like you're given this island, you learn how to, you know, harvest apples and make money called bells, and tanukis run the place, which is amazing because tanukis are like one of my favorite little Japanese character animals from the um, mythological time period, if you will. They're known to be tricksters. And so the fact that there are tanukis in Animal Crossing is brilliant. Oh my God, I went to bed in my, um, <laughs> I went to bed in my Sailor Moon outfit, I see. Turn up the music. Okay, you guys ready? I'm gonna turn it up. Tell me how it sounds. I'm bringing it up two more decibels than I did before. Okay, I'm bringing it up to 16. It was at 20 before. So let me know if it sounds like if it's too, um, too lagged or not. I am streaming on Twitch. So I'm actually streaming on Twitch right now as we speak. Um, King Kogi the pig, wee, 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 wee. He's doing very well. Thank you for asking. Um, let me know at any point when you think that this is just way too, too noisy. Um, so welcome to my island, everybody. It's very Martina, very tacky. Look, it's a tanuki. Uh, I still have my fruit things up. We're gonna go into the house first. There have been some changes. You can just faintly, you can just faintly hear it, someone is saying. Okay, I'm gonna turn this up a little more. Okay, um, we're going on inside to see my new setup in my house. I have done some things since the last time you guys were here. Basically, you have to hand lay down everything um, welcome to my, oh my God, there's definitely a cockroach. You see it? Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. If only it was that easy to end a cockroach's life. This is my grand piano. I can play jazz. Um, this cost me a ton of bells, okay? Like a ton. It's, it's amazing. I'm gonna turn it up. Oh no, my neighbor's coming to visit and there's cockroaches in my house. <laughs> okay, Sherv is adorable. Absolutely adorable, you guys. Um, yes, he calls me bum punch. Funny you should ask. <laughs> 
Hey, Sherb. Oh, you're wearing my, my, my Christmas sweater that I gave you. I just, you know, suddenly felt really like seeing you, Starberry. Sherb is adorbs. Thanks for coming by, Sherb. We're very happy that you're here. Yay. Would have been nice if you called, but you know what? That's fine. Come on in, Sherbs. You know, take a load off. You want a coffee? Huh, buddy? I have pictures of my animal crossing family up on the wall there. Oh, gosh, don't go in there. There's probably a cockroach. And we're going to make Sherb a coffee. An espresso maker, so you like cooking. Well, I like eating. Give me a call anytime and I'll be your taste tester. No problem. Um, Sherb is goat. I mean, literally goat, if you think about it. You know. Oh yeah, I brought you a thing. I bet it's a pear. Oh, it's a balloon hat. <laughs> I would request that all my friends from now on, when they visit, are like, did you want some wine or balloon hat? Yep. Yeah, this is pretty, this is pretty amazing. Oh, you're just gonna read a book, eh? All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna join you in this chair. Let's uh, chill a bit. And uh, I'll get on my phone like the normal average person. As, uh, yeah, and while we do that, I'll answer a little bit of uh, a little bit of testing here. Um, somebody asked me, I saw it go by if I was, oh, there it is. Uh, Sherry De Silva said, were you wonderful anesthetic? Anesthetic, anesthesia, anesthesia, anesthesia. Uh, they gave me, I had like a little nose tube for breathing and I had IV in through my hand and ha like heart monitors and everything like that. And it was not the full, full, full knockout, but let me tell you, it was like, the last thing the nurse said to me was like, good night. And then I just woke up um, rambling you guys about, so embarrassing. I had a dream that I was with the doctor in his izakaya and he was a member of the mafia and he was grilling me chicken. And the thing is that my doctor, who hopefully does not watch my live streams, is very good looking and like pretty young. And he studied in Austria and he speaks English. And it's just like, he's a, a tall, hot Japanese doctor. And I woke up being like, and we're having the guy and chicken yakitori together. And, and you're in a bed, I didn't know you're part of the mafia. And then I kind of recalled what I had said. So like probably 10 minutes later, I said to him, um, I think I just talked about us going to an izakaya and you were in the mafia. And he said, don't worry, everything that happens in this room stays between the three of us. And the nurse laughed. <sighs> Anyways, that's what happened. Um, oh, thank you so much. Lemon character taking his sunglasses off and raising his arm to greet someone imitated by baby lemon. Nabi Goyangi. <laughs> thank you. So yeah, I told him that he was in the mafia, but. Back to Sherb. Guess I'll head out soon. I figured you got some stuff you want to do and I got to check on the house for bugs. All right, see you later, Sherbs. You didn't know that I was in the middle of a live stream, but that's cool, 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 no doubt. See you around, bum punch. <laughs> uh, uh, Coda said, you're lucky you did the anesthesia. When they got mine taken out, it was just shots to the gum. Uh, no, I literally had a meeting with him to let him know that I will not be removing anything unless I'm knocked out because this is interesting. People with EDS tend to not have um, dental, like the numbing, it tends to not work on us. I don't know what it is, but I spent my whole life being at the dentist, feeling all the stuff, like the drilling and the pain and, and not understanding that I wasn't supposed to. And I remember being like, wow, I hate the dentist. It really hurts. And everyone's like, yeah, it hurts to go to the dentist. So you just don't think that everyone's not hurting, but apparently there are some interesting, um, case studies now that talk about the fact that, yeah, apparently people with EDS can definitely feel um, it more than others. Pretty crazy, right? Well, we're going into my mini fridge. I think it's time for a change. Let's go ahead and get changed, everybody. Uh, I love nerds 102, how much the operation cost? You ready for this? It was just over, um, I'll do it in Canadian dollar. It was like 50 bucks, 50 bucks. Of course I have health coverage as well because it's Japan, but like, it was like just over 5,000 Japanese yen. And my medication cost me like 700 yen, like seven bucks. So I have um, antibiotics I'm taking, painkillers that match with the painkillers I'm already taking. He called my doctor to make sure we weren't clashing. And I'm allergic to penicillin, so I had to do a different kind um, and a special little mouthwash that you, you kind of like slur back and forth. So yeah, it's pretty amazing. 
Oh, hi, Cat Cass. Oh my goodness. I'm stunning. Thank you very much. I am stunningly slightly numb in my face, but other than that, let's figure out what I shall wear. Um, I do have a bunch of clothing I'm gonna model for you guys and you guys can decide what you'd like uh, me to wear for the day perhaps. I have an assortment of outfits. We can go from wearing conductor jackets to being uh, well Canadian. I have my down jackets. Look at this, well Canadian. I also have my uh, very like almost paradise. Please name the drama. The ones of you that will know, you know. Of course, we can be part of Harry Potter. I am, it's so cheap, right? Yeah, it's super cheap, you guys. Yeah. Wow, so many expensive prices I'm seeing here. I know you guys are all crying. I'm sorry, Tainted Crimson. Yeah, I mean, I know somebody who flew from uh, Japan to Korea just to get cheaper, even cheaper healthcare. So it just depends on, you know. Konnichiwa t-shirt. Uh, we've got uh, royalty, which I like to do gardening in sometimes just for the heck of it, because I find it quite funny. This is a fake uh, fox, by the way. It is fake fur. No furs were harmed in the making of this. Got my bunny tee. And then I bought a plethora of sailor outfits, which I have matching pants for as well, right? Make your character match your hair. Boys over flowers, let's go. Thank you very much, everyone. Go put a namja. I better be hearing that. We've got my rock outfits as well, and we've got some serious King Kogi tea styles. So I guess the question should be, do I want to go for something like over the top? Like, um, like do I want to go as a, let's say, like a rocker look? Or do I want to go like super cash, like I'm wearing jogging pants and stuff? Do I want to wear a crazy dress? Or do I want to do something insane and cosplay-ish? Like look at this, look at this excellence here. Look at these beautiful kimonos. And I've got this amazing bingata dress. Uh, I could also be sushi. Yeah, everyone wants to be sushi. Cat laser eyes. Uh, many, many options to choose from, you guys. Uh, I do have some favorite racing outfits because I am an F1 fan, so I can dress up like that. I have a beautiful sari. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And um, in case I want to be dapper, I've got my tuxedo. Become the F1, says Uni Nona. Uni and Nona, all in one. Of course I have Sailor Moon Jennifer Holloway. How dare you? Snuff Muffler, that's a good name for the other guy. I have the skirts. Uh, I have the Sailor Moon... That's what actually what I woke up in. I have the skirt and then I have um, the tops that go with it. So I can be like this or that or this. I have many, many outfit options. What are we feeling here? Do I have the Sanrio Amiibo? I don't, I wish I did. I saw that, I looked everywhere for that. Eric, oh, I actually caught you live. You're doing good, Martina. Can we expect more of Dan in the future? Um, I mean, for sure. I don't know if we can expect more of Dan on camera because that was a rare moment of Dan being exhausted and being uh, caught on camera eating ice cream. But we work on Tokyo tours together. So we're working, like always trying to see what you guys say and we're building up and like we sit down and like organize different segments. And so we've always worked really, really well together and gotten on. And, and it takes a while to like work with people, you know, like you go through stages where you're kind of like, they don't understand me or, or they're like, they don't understand that. But once you kind of hit that level of getting an understanding of what someone's like, smooth sailing, if you ever get there. Sometimes you don't get there with people. Favorite F1 team, asked Gabriel. All right, I am more of a fan of Lewis Hamilton, the person. I think he's a stand-up guy. I love the stuff that he does outside of um, F1 as well. And I feel so wrecked for him and his poor situation this year with uh, Mercedes, yet he's still being a pretty reasonable guy, even though despite what happened uh, last race, I don't think he gets cranky and throws temper tantrums. Um, I would love to cheer for Max, but I don't like his attitude. That's right, I said it. It doesn't mean he's not an amazing racer. He very much is. I just don't love his, uh, his attitude. That's right. Oh. Cheryl DeCivia said when she woke up from, or she or he woke up from theirs, they said, uh, they yelled at the nurses, wait, I'm done. Yes, there's all different kinds of things that you can do. Well, why don't we go for, why don't we go for something funky and, um, and classy? So I say we go for like a tuxedo with, um, oh, a beret. Why don't we do that? Um, or like a flat hat. I think the beret is nice. I have an assortment of various things here. Um, perhaps we can put on some gold glasses. Oh yeah, this is looking pretty good. We can always change later. Um, and let's put on uh, like something like pink docks maybe. And go for, um, these samurai boots are amazing. Something neat about Animal Crossing you guys may not know is that the sound changes as you run around. So like if you're wearing 
white shoes that are soft, or if you're wearing, oh, I like the sneakers. Um, if you're wearing um, flip flops or something, they kind of go on the grass. Okay, I mean, that looks pretty good, right? Um, Crepe Pop said, will you open a P.O. box? You have a cute Toronto Raptor enamel pin that you want to send me. I've been trying to figure out the P.O. box stuff. I'm trying to find one that's like close enough to me because I don't have a car. I have my little mama chatty. And also, honestly, shipping overseas right now, especially to Japan receiving is so messed up and it will really break my heart if you guys try to send stuff and it gets like turned away or turned back or doesn't show up. So right now I'm just like, until Japan figures out what it's doing, I just gotta, I just gotta wait a little bit before I figure out, um, yeah, the whole PO box situation. But I think I will at one point. You guys always make incredible fan art and send really thoughtful things. When I was in Toronto, I had my PO, PO box open for a bit, and I just got so many things that helped me build a ladder. It was just such so amazing and lovely. So really thoughtful. Thank you guys. I'll get around to it at some point. I swear. I heard someone say bowling shoes, um, blueprints, symphonic. So bowling shoes, it is, right? Yes. Okay. We have options. We could throw on a little bit, bit of a, a matching crossbody bag. What about some bat wings, you say? I mean, they flap when I run. Look at them. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> no, no. I think it looks pretty good right there, right? We're gonna go with that. Um, Gu Guangzhou said, will Japan ever figure out what it's doing? I do believe that um, Japan is very slow moving for everything it does and it is quite stressed out about um, creating a problem and causing an issue with the, especially the elderly population and they're very nervous about doing things. It's just the way that Japan is. Like anyone that's lived here will know there's a process and a procedure for everything. So I just got in the mail my vaccination um, coupons for my next vaccine if I want to get it. I'm going to wait for now because my body's just in kind of recovery mode. Um, but I heard they're doing these weird, like you can go to a Japanese tour agency and you can sign up to particular kind of like very organized tours. They're slowly opening up. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I'm gonna keep making you guys Tokyo tours until you can get here and actually do it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Love Sung 31 is in love with this emerald suit. I don't blame you. I literally bought this suit when I bought this piano, which cost me an excessive amount of bells just so I could do this. Oh, Elizabeth said, I told my PT physiotherapist about build a ladder and loved it. That's great. That's awesome to hear. I'm so, so, so happy that it can help people out. I'm going to go up to my bedroom. Hi, Rain. Hi. All right. Welcome to my bedroom with the best music ever. This is my favorite music song. Let's get on my pink robot so you guys can see my DJ station. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know what happened to my carpet. This was not my carpet before. Anyhow, let's turn the, the lights the lights off. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah. DJ Martina with her DJ robot. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. This is the best song by KK Slider, in my personal opinion. It's excellent. Uh, Van 1891 said, Martina may ask when you were diagnosed with EDS. My daughter was recently diagnosed with hypermobility. We have EDS diagnosis in the family. Any advice? Uh, I was not diagnosed until my like third or fourth like shoulder dislocation that wouldn't heal. And I had um, dislocated my patella, my kneecaps twice before then and my knee. And I actually dislocated my um, shoulder and elbow. I remember being at home and not understanding what happened and calling my, my friend's mom. My parents weren't home and I was like in tears and I was like, I don't know what happened, this really hurts. And it was really scary. Um, but it wasn't until I had, I would say I was like 18, maybe 17 or 18. I was in high school and I had dislocated my shoulder again and it wouldn't, it just would not heal despite physio. And um, someone came in after the MRI was going on and basically said to my mom, hey, I'm not your doctor, but like, I think your daughter might have this condition called EDS um, because we noticed in the MRI tube, like when she was getting her um, needles being put in beforehand, like injecting the dye and stuff, I kind of popped my shoulder and they were like, it didn't make logical sense that she could do that. And that was it. Yes. Um, so that's my story. And uh, I would say try your best to not let it hold you back too much with experiencing life because you kind of got to figure out what you can't do 
before you can figure out what you can do. But if you just say, I'm not going to do that because I'm scared, then it kind of limits you. And I don't want your daughter to feel like resentment for not trying things out. That's my opinion. Obviously, I'm not a doctor, um, but I did tons of sports. I was snowboarding. I enjoyed my life completely until I got older and I started to realize, okay, maybe this kind of stuff is bashing me up a bit too much. And I eased off of it and found, you know, different things to do. So yeah, that, that's about it. Shout out to that doctor for real, Alexis, right? I never would have known. And from then on out, it was just total like BS with other doctors. Like they didn't understand it. They said, oh, you're going to have really thin, nice skin for the rest of your life because of your excess collagen. Like they didn't understand like what was actually going on. Um, my rice cooker. Uh, yeah, this is my little um, spudgy area. I've got my little spudgy lantern. It looks like a little like, you know, hey spudge, what up? Kind of area. I've got my drawing station for drawing. Yeah, and then I have an indoor um, garden inside my house. And of course I have an indoor bath beside my bed because who would not want to have um, a bath beside their bed? I imagine how fussy this room must be. <laughs> Isn't this song totally rad? I agree with you, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, we're leaving my bedroom. Um, this song is called Cruisin, by the way. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. It's called Cruisin. I'm gonna just take a gentle sip here. Uh, so, com so complex. Just putting an ice pack uh, back on. Everybody ignore me. Oh my God, there's another cockroach in my house. Do you guys see it? I must go destroy it. Here I go, here I go. Back here, get over here. I got it. Oh good. All the pesky cockroaches are gone. I feel so much better. If you guys don't know, uh, if you come to Animal Crossing, if you play it and you're not here for a while, they put cockroaches in your house. It's quite embarrassing, but that's what they make you do. Yeah. How many hours I've put into my island? I don't actually know. Is there an area that I can check to see how many hours I've put in? I'm not sure. This room is currently under renovation. It used to be a, a gaming room, and then I decided to change it and turn it into a kitchen. Uh, I have a wood-burning stove, and um, it's inside of here is a pizza, yeah. And this is my little like sushi omurice kind of station. I've got all the sushi here, and I've got uh, my knife section, and I've got my wall of like, I'm gonna call it cookbooks is what I'm gonna say. Uh, I think it's actually manga, but shh, it's okay, don't tell anyone. Um, and then I have some of my food stuff over here. Look at this toaster, you guys. Are you looking at this right now? Are you seeing this? It's gonna pop up and it's gonna be bare printed toast. Oh, so on the switch, there is a function on the menu that shows how many hours you played each game. Oh, okay. Oh, very nice. Eric said, can I ask what factors made you move back to Canada and not stay in Canada or choose a new country? Well, Eric, I was just not finished with Japan. Um, I left under very, I would say, uh, traumatic circumstances. I was not planning on leaving when I was leaving. And um, I was not finished with Japan. There's so many things that I still want to do and explore. And I'm not saying you should leave a country when you're sick of it. Like, I don't think that's the goal here. But, you know, I've been in Asia for like, I think almost like 14 years now. And it was almost the opposite traumatic to go back to Canada. Of course, I love Canada. I really do. And I'm sure I'll end up living there at some point again. But, um, you know, it was very bizarre to be back in Canada and experiencing it during COVID and all the lockdowns was quite intense. Like foreigners, I am a foreigner. We just talk loudly. We chit chat, There's all these little things you don't think about and the culture shock is intense. I literally cried in the hot dog section at a grocery store <laughs> because I went to get cold cuts and the two people behind the counter were like arguing with each other, but not in a mad way. They were just like strong European women because Toronto's all mixed cultures. And as a European, my dad's from Croatia, right? They were just arguing about something with each other and it was so loud and like it physically scared me. I was also going through a very difficult time and feeling quite anxious and sensitive, but the, the yelling was so not gentle and I just couldn't take it. And I had to like go to the hot dog section. I remember just being in front of the hot dogs, pretending to look at them and being like, <laughs> and I imagine now people coming by are like, wow, she's really upset about those hot dogs. Um, yeah. So I got, I, I slowly got a little tougher. I got over it. I, I enjoyed building a ladder in Canada. It was a whole, 
different situation, you know, like I got to experience um, nature again, go for these long walks, even in the snow and like try foreign food again that I missed. And uh, weed is legal in Canada, like so legal. The Canadian government made like shipping in Ontario free for anybody during COVID um, from the Canadian government, like marijuana sites, which they do everything. They do THC, CBD, um, tea bags, edibles, whatever. And I found it very, very helpful, not necessarily for um, like for my pain, it kind of like cuts, it kind of like cuts the feeling of pain and you just kind of are who you are. So I made a lot of, you know, music and enjoyed drawing and I felt really free from my pain for quite some time. Um, not so much in Japan, very illegal, same thing in Korea. But THC uh, is not legal in Japan, but CBD has now become legal. So there's little CBD shops popping up everywhere um, and um, yeah, you can buy like CBD oil and CBD pens. It's not super helpful for me. I'm not into CBD for myself, but I'm sure there's lots of people out there that are probably like really excited to see that happening. So yeah, so it was pretty overwhelming. Um, uh, no, uh, Shannon, Shannonoka, I was back in Ontario. I was back in Ontario, so yeah. Uh, Angela said, it happened to me at a book convention. I cried my eyes out because there were way too many people and it made me anxious. Yeah, it, it did, exactly. There's like just different experiences that really overwhelm you. The dreamer said headphones or earbuds can help so much with environmental pain, uh, overwhelming amounts of sound going on, for sure. So I think I talked a little bit on a live stream on, or a, a post on Instagram before. I have sound canceling headphones, really good on high anxious days. But the key is understanding where you're at. Like, am I having a high anxiety day? Do I, found, do I find sounds startling today? Am I finding myself extremely brain foggy? You know, am I having a hard time remembering words? Okay, then maybe I'm having an extreme pain day and I need to help my body by blocking out certain things. So that's what I, I found is like, you've got to kind of figure out your body every day. And I, you guys, I'm working on a rubric. This is going to sound so nerdy. I'm working on um, um, like a rubric, a pain rubric for people with um, chronic pain and different kinds of illnesses. It doesn't have to be EDS, any kind of chronic pain. And it's to show you where you're falling in the category of pain if you're having too much pain because it overwhelms our brains and then we, we get tired or we don't know why or we're moody, we don't get it. So this is kind of to help you to understand where your pain level is that day. And I think it's helpful for our loved ones, our friends, our families, and our coworkers to understand where we are that day. So um, I'm just gonna upload it for free on probably just kingkogi.ca so people can download it as a PDF, but um, I'm gonna put a couple versions up and see your opinions on it and do some back and forth. And um, I'm gonna make it editable so you guys can add in your own sections and stuff. But um, yeah, yeah, so um, that's, that's what I've been working on as well. Um, Kathleen Smith says, Martina, do you have a family member who does lawyer content on YouTube? Absolutely not. I barely have any family members alive anymore, so. I don't think so, and unless they're Croatian, because I have cousins in Croatia, but yeah. That's right, Murfem. The one to 10 scale doesn't cut it at all, because most of us start at like a four or five, like it's, you're already in that pain zone. Like, I don't know what it's like to not be in the pain zone. Um, Green Eyes Girl 21, I wanted to check on CBD to help with anxiety. I tried cannabis once, it was not fun. What I would say is that, okay, so, every type this is what I've only learned in Canada for one year I took a notebook right so I took a notebook and I wrote down how I was feeling after every strain that I had um, basically the thing is is that they all affect you differently so some might make you anxious or some might make you kind of like couch locked or some might make you feeling really light so it depends on the kind you're taking so it can feel scary to try it again if you've already had a bad experience but they are really different CBD won't give you that like feeling of you know, anxious or creative or it doesn't have the THC to do that. The CBD can help you feel chill and relaxed for some people, right? For me, I'd feel like it's a drop in the bucket. It doesn't personally help me a lot, but I did try it out at nighttime if I couldn't sleep. It kind of helped chill me a bit, but definitely give it a go, you know? Um, yeah, definitely. I'm sure other people had some experiences with it as well. Chloe Stuck said, I'm a dentist in the US. I hope your recovery post extraction goes smoothly. Take care. Thanks for sharing your life with us. Chloe, I'm doing so well. At the beginning of the stream, I was saying how my doctor was so caring and understood I had EDS. He didn't even open my jaw like the way the doctors normally do. So I have such, I mean, minimal jaw pain compared to what I was preparing for after just a normal dental visit. Wow, the sun came out and I became extra white today, you guys. Um, hopefully, 
I'm not too white right now. Let me just see if I can pull the drapes. And she's white. All right, let's, let's, let's go ahead and check out my island, you guys. We're like Animal Crossing live stream with Martina who doesn't leave her house, just like normal life. <laughs> no, no. We're gonna get out of the house. Don't worry, Eric, it's, it's no problem, by the way. No problem with asking lots of questions and stuff. Okay, here we go. Um, this is my front area. It is very Martina tacky. I think it's excellent. I love the way it looks. I have organized all my flowers in such a way that they are color coordinated. It took forever, you know? Um, and I have crickets that like crick, 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 crick at nighttime and stuff. I don't know if you guys have seen this last, um, but over here I built like an outdoor onsen. So I made this like waterfall and it's kind of like a secret onsen. So I wanted it to be something that would work in the summer and the winter time, right? Um, so here we have like this little vanity area and like it's like a little yuzu bathtub that you can like get into and there's like a little place to relax and it's kind of like private and cute. Isn't that amazing? And then you've got this little secret area here with this little adorable star and you can just like sit here and chill and like overlook the, the whole view of the, you know, island and it kind of feels like, I wonder if I can sit while sitting. No, I'm already sitting. Let's be excited about it. Yeah. It's cute, right? They are Sanrio, um, custom Sanrio patterns on the floor, yes. And so I thought this area is really nice and pretty. I, I took all the star bits, the star fragments that I found, and I used them to kind of decorate the edges. So at nighttime, they glow. It's really beautiful. So this is my little, little area here. Uh, a couple days ago, I saw, dang it, Dang fossil, ruining my perfect ground. <laughs> Look, I dug a fossil up. I don't really care anymore because I've dug up so many fossils, but let's just go with it. Um, I've color patterned all of these. Uh, let's take a look at the beach. Let's do some shelling. Um, everything here is worth money, you guys. I am a very uh, organized, I'm gonna read this up. Organized, like pick up my shells, sell everything off, Oil barrel bathtub. That's what I've always wanted. When I, when I first started playing, I was just like planting trees, waiting for them to grow, very carefully harvesting them, then planting more trees, then growing more trees. I just became like very like, first I gotta pay off my loans. And so I just became very, it really is like who you are as a person in a way. Like I had to just make sure I could, um, you know, pay off all my loans to this freaking tanuki. I'm so bad at fishing. Can I get it? Gah! Relearning! Red snapper, med I my, I think. Ooh, very nice. I've just learned the kanji for that. Very excited about that. Hi, Mary Dot JPEG. Hi, Martina. I've been a fan of yours for a long time. I love your content so much. I also struggle with chronic pain. Much love from Australia. I think this is a, a whole lot of people um, struggling with chronic pain together. So uh, we, are, we are one great big fam of understanding. That's one thing that I think is amazing about finding your people. It's not that your close friends and families don't understand it, but I don't know what kind of a person you are for dealing with your pain. But I love comedy. So my chronic ill friends, which are all you guys online, right? We send each other memes and stuff, or like I'll post memes on the Discord. And the Discord memes crack me up when I'm not posting, I'm reading them all, you know? And I just love seeing what everyone says, like, because there's a kind of like, it's just the way it's gonna be. And so for me, I find it funny to laugh at things like high five and my shoulder dislocates, or, you know, I got another gyroid, an arphoid. Yeah, so I personally find um, humor helps me uh, cope with all that kind of stuff. Well, thanks, Diamond in the Sky. That's really nice of you to stop on by to say my vids are lovely and hope you feel better. Feeling pretty good, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm also, yes, yeah, the struggle is real, Lizio, I agree. But um, with the struggle, sometimes it's nice to um, find other people that are struggling and go, isn't it crazy how, you know, you, someone will say, how are you doing today? And you have to go like, in your head you go, do I tell them about how I didn't sleep and how this happened and how this is and my digestion? You're like, I haven't pooped in five days. And 
you know, my stomach feels sick and I threw up in my mouth earlier and everything hurts when I sit and I can't stand for 20 minutes. Like, you just go, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> but the chronically ill community, we get that there's no I feel fine. We're kind of like super people who exist on a, a realm above. So you can kind of send each other memes and jokes about, you know, how difficult it is, but at the same time we're coping, you know. We're coping, we have days when we're not coping, we have days where we're crying, we have days when we're down, but we're not absolutely alone in this. We, we have other people that we can go like, do you get this? And they go, yeah, I get it, you know? That's how I feel at least, you know. Um, that's my story. What do, I think I have a lot of, oh, I don't have any more room left. Oh, I see. You know when you haven't played Animal Crossing in a while, you open up your, you open up your like little list of things and you're like, I don't remember what I was doing with any of this stuff. I've got potatoes, <laughs> I've got fish and fossils and like, why is there clothing here? Okay, so I think I was probably iron garden chair. Oh, okay, okay. I was redoing my kitchen. So I have a lot of stuff here that I need to like put away and get rid of. That's what I think has to happen. Um, yeah. Impetuous Porcus says, normalizing chronic pain that presents itself in different ways. I love how we're striving to make sure all pain is validated. For sure, that's the thing, right? Like, it's not pain that people can even uh, point out or show as, again, chronic illness not being visible is complex because I look like, you know, healthy or fine and people don't get that you're in a huge amount of pain when you need to use that seat on the bus because you just don't look like you're pregnant or you don't look like you're, you know, traditionally chronically ill or you're using a wheelchair, but just for a bit because you, you're gonna freaking collapse if you wanna go through the museum without it. But then you get up to do something and people think, oh, you're standing, you're a liar. I can't fish. Also, the sun has seemed to come out and I am fully officially white. So I'm going to adjust the ISO. D for Dustin, you can't send the Discord link. It's possible that I have some kind of, um, you know, uh, automatic not allowing link situation happening. I think we can go a little, a little deeper. Ugh. That's a bit better, right? Okay. I do change my island for each season. Let's see. Okay, that's pretty good. When the sun goes behind a cloud again, I will become darkened and I will have to adjust this ISO again. But while we're here, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stand. Uh, yeah, X Lovely Fantasy, I do change up my island and Kathleen Smith, I do tend to decorate for Halloween. Um, I love decorating for Halloween. I put up like all these pumpkins. I have tons of pumpkins and all this other stuff. Ooh, ah. We're doing the little bit of the EDS stretch. Ooh, everything's back in socket. Okay. All right, we're good. We, we're good. Kogi, you're good? Wee wee. Kogi's good. Uh. Thank you, Christy713. Martina, glad you're recovering from your dental surgery. Have you watched RuPaul's Drag Race all season set, all stars season seven winners? No, I haven't. I totally fell off the RuPaul's Drag Race train, not because I didn't like it, just because I got very occupied and busy and just like wasn't really watching TV. I was just kind of off of like the watching stuff online world, watching anything like television, anything at all, like especially when I was back in Canada and stuff. Um, but recently I'm slowly starting to get back into like Netflix and I'm starting to like watch series and stuff like that. Um, but I was just really completely offline for so long when it comes to watching television and stuff. You guys, we're gonna, oh no. If I shoot this, it's totally gonna land in the water, isn't it? This looks like something that's gonna land in the water no matter what I do. What should I do? Okay, wait, wait. Bah! <laughs> I thought it was gonna land on this little island. Well, never mind. There it goes. Oh no, Angelica had shingles a few weeks ago. Brutal. Shingles is awful. My mom had shingles. It's not, it's not fun. I and mean, a lot of things aren't fun, but the shingle ain't fun. Okay, we're gonna head towards my tackiest of areas right now. 
Welcome to my gyroid party, everybody. Isn't this ridiculous? It's absolutely ridiculous. I just love them. They're so ridiculous. I don't know why they all ended up here, but I just started to like put them here and then now they're all just here. All right, we're gonna put this down and see what he is. Oh, he's cute. I have a pig one too. <sighs> Do it, my little guys. Yeah. Creepy little alien party. A creepy little alien party. Okay. Um, this area is my chillax zone. I can just sit here and kind of like chill and watch my little alien party do its little alien thing. Uh, I do have a lot of neighbors, Jennifer Holloway, yes, definitely. We're gonna meet some of my neighbors. First, we're gonna get a gumball. <laughs> this is my kind of like relaxed chill zone. I've got a little tiny picnic area with dango and like sushi and sandwiches and stuff. And then we come over to like my hot bath zone. So you can come here and like relax in an outdoor onsen. And I've tried to like replace all the flowers around here to be shades of pink. Like no matter what, it is a shade of pink. I definitely have some antique items that should belong in the museum, but I kept them. I definitely kept it. Oh, am I am I being am I being raided via via Twitch in a good way, not a bad way? I totally absolutely missed it. Hello, if I am being raided to everybody that's raiding. I'm Martina. I'm streaming out of uh, Tokyo, Japan. Welcome to the King Kogi airship, if you're, if you're new um, to this channel. We're all talking about chronic pain because all of us are a big chronic pain community. Not everybody, but at least people are understanding here. So, so welcome. Uh, I was raided, yes. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. It's my first raid, I think. <laughs> I'm like, what do you do with a raid? I don't know. Um, yeah, so definitely, definitely welcome uh, to, the, to the channel. I'm not a professional streamer of any kind. I'm a professional eater, but today uh, we are enjoying a wisdom teeth live stream because I had like three of my teeth pulled, so yeah. Oh, here's my little Alfonso buddy. What up, bud? Chef, can you see me? I thought maybe I was a ghost for the last couple months. I'm always watching you, but you ignore me. It's a me. There's no way to treat a snack, buddy. Sorry, Alfonso. What's up? It's a me. Okay, I have to give him something now because I feel bad for being gone for so long. He likes toys, though. I don't know if I have anything toy related. He's really into, um, yeah, like toys and cute things. I don't think I have anything that I can give him, and I should not have. I should have thought this through for sure. Here, here's a fish. He's gonna be like, thanks a lot. Hmm. Didn't think it through. Now we're gonna have to give him an iron garden chair. Here we go. I am sorry for this. Is this for real? Am I getting an iron garden chair? Thanks, I love this kind of stuff. But you knew that, didn't you? <laughs> I totally knew that. It's a shawl and dress combo. What a personal gift to give somebody. Uh, much better than before where someone's like, you know what this island needs? Here, I think you'll really like it. And then I opened it up and it was a garbage can. And I went, thanks. What shade? What incredible shade was thrown at me? Oh my goodness. All right. So this is my front area. I have recently color coordinated a delightful rainbow of flowers. They are going from all the way down to here. This took forever, but it was worth it. I think it looks really beautiful and very representative of everybody. I love it. And this is my little picnic area over here. I'll check in on the comments while I have a little chill. Um, Christine, oh, thank you so much, Christine. She said, so excited to see you live streaming. You've gotten my sister, uh, Jane, and I through so much, and your videos bring light to so many others. Any chance you'd be creating a King Kogi or Spudgy plush? Oh, Christine, what a good question. Um, I have been designing and trying to prototype plushies for ages now. 
but I have been very stuck at a particular process, which was trying to find a place that could guarantee me that there were going to be eth ethical work conditions for the people creating it. If I make it in Japan, the conditions are ethical, but the price of the plushie is over the top. Like, I, I couldn't charge you guys it. Like, just to cover the cost of the plushie, it would be like a plushie in the $60, $70 range because in Japan, you're, you're paying everyone's labor w wages, right? But if I do it overseas in different places like Bangladesh and China, it's really, really cheap. But I'm not sure the conditions are ethical. Some of the sites I've been to say, you know, oh, we're ethical and we have fair, fair wages and they put up all these like, you know, screens certificates, but I don't know how to trust it or not. So I'm still kind of working to figure it out, what I can do to feel comfortable, um, because I, I would love a spudgy plushie, like just me alone. And I made like a unicorn spudgy plushie with like rainbow fur. It was so amazing. And I like have all the drawings for it and everything. Um, so I'm still thinking about that kind of stuff. I am also so slow to like add new merch to the store and stuff. Like I'm wearing, this is my prototype, my um, droop, just a boob. It's the embroidered King Kogi um, crew made it's so like good quality uh, and this is the unisex like size so I'm trying to figure out like how does it fit I don't like how low it goes so now I have to readjust it again so I'm always kind of like slowly prototyping sending them to myself so yeah hopefully I will do something like that but oh my gosh might be adding custom shoes to the shop you guys I bought and like designed and bought a pair of like sneakers um, like high tops King Kogi sneakers they've shown up in a couple videos I'm trying to see if they're comfortable. That's what I'm doing and they are so comfy. So they might be like limited edition, small burst amount, but they're amazing. That's all I have to say. Um, but yeah, uh, eyeglass trained of mine said, I would definitely save up to buy a $70 plushie that's ethically sourced. I, uh, would you, it's, I don't know. Joe says it's a bargain for a spudgy plush. I don't know. It just seems like maybe it's just me because i'm just kind of like oh that's crazy and i don't want people to feel like they want something that they can't afford and then they have to put money they're putting money towards me instead of themselves so i'm constantly in this i'm like the worst content creator essentially i have no <laughs> no ability to be like buy my stuff like all these merch shelves that you can make i'll buy the merch shelf stuff i'll send it to myself and i'll be like i don't like this quality and then i just don't use it and it's like i should just be just slapping things up but like I can't I just can't do it I can't do it so anyhow I will work on it and maybe I could do something where I have a short amount of plushies like maybe there's just a hundred of them or something so yeah ah, anyways Jennifer I'm a size 8.5 US don't forget <laughs> I'm a size like 9.5 to 10 so yeah hello dragon Ben uh, welcome welcome to the to the live stream we are live streaming between Twitch and also YouTube. So I am, I am dual uh, chit chatting to everybody here. All right, this is, let's continue along, shall we? Um, my picnic area here. I have a little ice cream shop set up where you can get all flavors of ice cream. Very, very delightful. Um, and just scrolling these away, right? I'm definitely gonna run out of room soon. Volleyball net area, this is my wetsuit zone. So if you want to like get a wetsuit and go swimming, you know, you can come out here and do that. Let's see if I can keep, go keep going. And this is my um, celebration area for people to have like birthday parties and all that kind of stuff. This kangaroo over here, I don't want to, I don't want to fully show you because she's going to say hi, but see this kangaroo in the upper left hand corner. I have to tell you something, a confession. She arrived on my island and I didn't know what it was, if it was like an alien or what it was, because there's a baby kangaroo in the pouch. And so I just saw this kangaroo on a side angle and it looked like a giant purple peen sticking out of her crotch, like just this like huge erect peen. And I was like, oh, I don't want this on my island. Like see the angle right now? She looked like a huge perv. And I was determined to be like, well, absolutely not welcome this creature to my island. Pause for one second because I see Carrie in the in the comment section. Carrie's cuttlefish. Uh, Carrie does amazing everything, like design. And there's a couple of uh, Carrie cuttlefish stuff that um, they sent over to me, and I have them in my in my house. Like washi tape, the washi tape that I used for like my um, painting and stuff is Carrie. So thank you so much, Carrie. Um, but 
I didn't want this creature on my island. And I have a rule where I never kick anybody off my island. Like I feel like it's just like real life. I just deal with who I have. So like if my Animal Crossing person is cute or if they're, I quote, ugly, cause some people say like, oh, some of them are ugly. No matter what I keep them. If they're jerks, if they're really snobby, I'm like, no matter what I keep them. And I like soften them up until they're kind of fun. And I have like two or three people on my island that are just like so snobby and have attitude, but I love them. Like Klaus is like my sassy best friend. But I ignored the heck out of this kangaroo because I thought it had a huge purple peen. And so I felt really bad for neglecting her. And finally I went over to say hi and turns out she's really nice. And so I felt bad. So I redecorated her whole house. So I put these flowers in, organized them all. And I put in this like back and forth little pattern of rainbows to be like, Tina, you need to be more welcoming. Even if she has a giant purple peen jamming out, that's who she is. And so I just, yeah, turns out it's a kangaroo baby, but I still think it's a purple peen. Um, hi, Cobra Bebop. Uh, let's, let, let's say hello to her. Sylvia. Hey there, Strawberry. You finally came by. I was kind of worried I, I made you mad or something. Oh, so awkward after I just told you guys this. Usually I just come by and ask, but I got cold feet. Anyways, I'm super relieved we're still cool. Swing by any time, boing. Yes, we're totally cool. I didn't just tell everybody online how you have a big purple fiend. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, all right, that's Sylvia. That's my confession. That is my YouTube confession right there. This is the area I'm most scared to visit. This is my flower um, area. No! La la la, the hills are alive. You can see that it's very organized. I started hand planting white and yellow patterns to make sure they would grow in this way. Uh, and then all white, then I tried to gradient it and then I haven't put it on for a while, so there's some stress. Um, but this way here has my massive pumpkin patches. I discovered that it is way cheaper and easier to pluck a pumpkin off the ground than it is to violently hump a tree and then like collect all the fruit. It's like one move is like hump and then the second move is like pick up, pick up, pick up. But here you just go like whoop, 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 whoop and then you just cash out with the Tanuki Bros and you're good. So. I'm sorry for stressing you guys out about the purple peen and you can't unseen it, but yes, it's definitely a peen. I'm, I'm sorry about that. I think we can all agree that it was bad character design. Yes, Musetti, that's what I think. Hi, Meg. Holy guacamole, it's Martina. It is, it is Martina. Let's see what I can dump off here at, wait, 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 wait. First, we're gonna go see Vlad's, Vladsky's. I have a tradition in which I walk up behind him during the daytime and I take creepy photos behind him uh, and then I save those creepy photos. So I think I need to change my expressions. First, let's just be like, oh boy. Okay, wait, here are my expressions. No, no, wait, hang on. Not what I wanted to do. I'm going to register and, no, 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 hang on. There we go, no. What is going on? It's because I'm standing in a garden. It's like I've completely forgotten how to play this game for 10 seconds. Wasn't I? You guys, how do I get to the character expression panel? What, what has happened to my brain? I thought it's, oh. Upper right ear, that's where it is. We're gonna change one of these. We're gonna change bashful and we're gonna put in my terrifying expression. Where's all? I have like an evil one. There it is, mischief. Yes, yes, blathers, yes, blathers. Mischievous photos are coming for you as usual. It's my little sand garden area and I have a plethora of ginormous um, mushrooms everywhere. It's like my little tiny plaza zone, if you will. Hey, Martina in chat. Hello, cur curry half and half. What up, Bat Fiend? Sherry Ann Bravo. I'm seeing um, some new people showing up uh, to, yeah, new people coming in and some people going to sleep. Yes, very nice. Okay, we're going in and I'm gonna creep on blathers as I do per tradition. I have a whole collection of photos of me. Creeping on blathers. 
I love blathers. There he is. Doing his own thing. Mining his own biswax. Uh-huh. And then we're gonna um, change it to black and white. That's nice. And then we're gonna, oh, I didn't register it. What? Hold the phone. We need to register. <laughs> okay. Now we're ready to go. Now we're ready to go. We're gonna zoom in again. Looks pretty good. Let's go a little bit dramatic here. And, uh, and for tradition. Very nice. Very nice. Let's put on the handheld camera and get right up in there with the creepiness. There's blathers. Perfect. And then, wake up blathers, it's an emergency! Blathers! <laughs> oh, I don't know why, I just love blathers. I have his tiny little figure in my kitchen. I just recently found him and was delighted. How may I be of service? Well, my Sir Blavskis, I need you to assess these frickin' dang fossils that I constantly find scattered about. You know, you say that it's rare, but I seem to find them constantly and every day. You better find something you like. Ugh. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, Blanskis. Um, see if there's any uh, bugs that are new. Ooh, he hates bugs. It's quite funny. We're gonna add in the nibble fish, the neon tetra, and your favorite, the goliath beetle. He's an owl, but he's scared of bugs. I'll handle the rest from here. Um, could you tell me about this? Oh no, I have no bugs for him to tell me about. Too bad. Yeah, I'm sure. All right. And now we're gonna have a quick cup of coffee. And while we have a quick cup of coffee, this is amazing, you guys. They have a coffee shop. Carmen also was waking up blathers. Look at this coffee shop. This looks like a hardcore, absolute Japanese coffee shop. Oh my gosh. My YouTube friend is here. The guy on the left, uh, his name is Kyle, and he is um, a like social media YouTuber, but he's like a pretty much a failure. Yes, please. And uh, he's always like talking about live streaming or making a video. And then I'll be like, oh, can I listen to the music? He's like, oh, well, it's like not ready now, but it will be. And he has like all these musical instruments in his house. And I gave him every instrument I get. I usually give it to him so that he can have more and more instruments. Um, but he's always like, I only wear like, you know, the finest like clothing. You know, I only wear like the nicest stuff. And it's like, but you're not successful. Why are you spending money on things that you can't afford? Like, even if you can afford it, I don't necessarily think you should buy expensive things. Anyhow, it's a bit of a ramble. He is wearing the punk rock goggles I gave him. Amazing. <laughs> he looks crazy. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> Rooster, you're the best. Cool. Thank you very much. All right, so Kyle looking cool as heck. Let's just have ourselves a seat. That's nice. Oh, let's see. Arctic Namakura says, I'm genuinely not sure who I got raided in here by, but hello, my wife is a huge fan of your content. Oh, are you accidentally, are you accidentally here? And you're like, wait a second. Um, is the original raider still here? I'm not sure. So if you are new, uh, I am Martina and I live in Tokyo, Japan, and I'm currently live streaming Animal Crossing because my wisdom teeth and another tooth were pulled and I'm in a lot of pain. Not that bad, to be honest. Swelling's not that bad. And uh, I normally do food videos. This is like on my free time, I enjoy puttering on my island. So I'm not a pro gamer. I'm not a pro gamer at all. I'm gonna take a tiny break and ice my face. Yes, Blueprints Symphonic? Sim Symphonic says, what kind of soup will you make next? 
I have been obsessively making soup and posting it on Instagram. I have done a creamy coconut pumpkin uh, made with a sweet potato. I have done mushroom soup with two different kinds of mushrooms and I used like my bone broth to make it. I made bone broth, I made chicken broth. Uh, oh, I'm going to make cream of broccoli next. So I have broccoli in the fridge, I have my bone broth uh, defrosted at the end of it. And the only thing I have to do is go buy onions and garlic and then I'm gonna just, um, you know, blend it sh the shit out of it, basically. Kinsey Sakura says, hello, Martina, how are you? Despite the fact that I'm squishing my face with an ice pack, I'm doing pretty well, actually, thank you. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm doing pretty good, considering what could have been happening after having this tooth surgery done. And the weather in Japan is slowly starting to make its way out of the insane 46 degrees. I think it's still quite, um, quite hot. I wish it was happy fall. It feels not like it yet. You know, I'm trying to, let me, let me get my temperature to show you what it is outside right now. We lost one toy. Wow. I don't have Fahrenheit for you guys. It's 29.9 degrees outside right now. Let me see. And it's 24 inside. Yeah, so it's still quite hot out, but we're, we're pulling through it. Oh, blue-eyed kitten, what about cheddar cheese for the broccoli soup? That sounds amazing, but cheese in Japan is um, considerably expensive. And so the idea of putting cheddar cheese into my soup would feel like a bit of a waste. But it, it does match it, doesn't it? If I go to the Konbini or the nearest grocery store I have, they don't sell cheddar. I have to go to like kind of more a fancy or an import place to buy cheddar cheese. But I think that like, I don't think craft sliceable, they don't have craft cheese here, but I don't think those sliceables will work. I think they're gonna be really milky, right? I don't know, because I usually put um, that in my ramen, right? When you have a cup of ramen, you throw in a, a milky, delicious, meltable cheese slice, it's magical, yeah. Yoshikana says, one of the things I don't miss from living in Okinawa the summers, yeah, it's pretty insane. Your Highness says, how do you keep Animal Crossing fun? Um, I think that people, maybe they have different goals about what they want to do. I kind of just see it as like being artsy for the day. So I go like, oh, you know what? I'm going to read you the flowers. I'm going to make everything color coordinated. Or I'm going to redo this room and make it into a kitchen. Like, can I with what I have? Like, I don't try to have goals of, you know, having the best island or having everything like paved perfectly or it's just kind of like something to do for the day. Or I'll just try out like a ton of different outfits and go, oh, yeah, that matches really well. Or, you know, oh, I got to go to the shop to see if I can make this. Or I go online and search for people's patterns and see if I can match things. So I try to think of it like that. I just completely forget about it sometimes because I'm so busy. And so then I go, oh my God, it's like, the springtime and I haven't done anything for the summer. Only time I get anxious is when I have to clean my island. Like when I put Christmas decorations up and now it's like February and I'm like, oh my God, I have to take everything down. <laughs> oh yeah. Colleen A, start making a cheese making factory on your island. Oh. Yeah, I think I can make mozzarella cheese and stuff like that, but I don't know if, uh, if I could make cheddar cheese. That's the question. And if it would cost me more to make the cheese, right? That's the question. Mekko says, you're the one who convinced me processed cheese belongs on Japanese curry. It does, it really does. It adds a whole new salty, creamy level. I put scrambled eggs in my curry now, like on it. I do butter scrambled eggs and then you pour it on the side of your curry and you just eat it and it's like fluffy and creamy. I don't wanna talk about food. Uh, <laughs> Um, Emiko, the bunny ears are an attachment and this is a little tiny pig that's supposed to go on my bike and someone in my Discord recommended it to me and I bought it immediately off of Amazon. But it's so cute, I don't know if I'm, if I'm gonna add it to my bike. Yeah, VN, VN2L said, I started adding cheese to my Shin Ramen because of your convenience store ramen video years and years ago. Yeah, see, you doubt it. Also, here's something else for the doubters. If you have kimchi chige, like the Korean spicy um, kimchi stew, add a dollop of mayonnaise and mix it in. I'm not kidding you, it is so good. And I didn't make it up, it is from Korea. Some of my Korean friends would be like, oh, you gotta add a little bit of mayo. It's amazing, that's all I'm saying. All right, we're getting up. We're gonna leave this area. I wonder if I'm allowed to sit here yet. Oh my God, I finally am. 
No, I can't. Brewster, when will you let me be here? Welcome back. Ah, he won't let me sit there. It's not nice. Nutritional yeast is a great alternative to cheese, says um, Aryan Soy. Can I, does it like taste savory, like cheese? Is that what it's all about? Uh, Anakin Spanakis said, it's lovely to see you. I'm currently resting with a fractured wrist. I'm missing my game so much and driving. Yeah, exactly, right? You, yeah. Um, Cowboy Bebop said, do you have plans to travel inside Japan or are you just gonna be sticking to Tokyo for now? Uh, no, I absolutely have plans for Tokyo tours outside of Tokyo. So like Dan and I are discussing, you know, like what are prefectures that we'd like to visit? Because I've done a lot of work in different prefectures, you know, before like Shizuoka and like Akita and like I've gone to Nagoya, but it was also being, you know, sponsored by somebody else. Like it would be a company that wanted me to come or the prefecture's government. And I have no problem doing that, but there's a different kind of freedom when you can control your own video um, locations and stuff. So we've been trying to figure out like, you know, fitting in um, around his schedule for work and where we can go and people that we might know in those prefectures that we can, um, you know, meet with or discuss things with. So I really want to go to different ones. Currently, Japan is still a little bit stressed about COVID. So they don't like people from Tokyo going to different prefectures. Like between Osaka and Tokyo, it's like giant cities and stuff, but and Kyoto and stuff. But the smaller towns feel a little bit stressed. The exception would be the surf cities. So like when you go to like the coast where the surfing and stuff is, they're very chill. But yeah, I am starting to organize it. Now that it's getting less hot, I think it'll be awesome in the autumn. And I'm trying to figure out if I should call it like Tokyo tours and then be like, you know, the blah, blah, blah edition. Or if I should like cross out the Tokyo tours for that section and call it like, you know, Kyoto tours. I'm thinking now of organizing a Kyoto tours that doesn't involve anything daytime. Why does nobody really talk about nighttime Kyoto, right? It's always like these particular areas, but like, what about the nighttime scene in Kyoto? Right? So maybe just like a, um, a cafe, bar, record crawl, whatever. So that's the kind of stuff that I'm doing. So Ibaraki, yes. I'd love to go to Ibaraki. There are so many like places that I haven't visited that I really, really want to go to. So yeah. Um, Panda Love says you can only sit there if you use an amiibo to have coffee with. I had no idea. You've just completely, um, you just completely blown my mind on that. Carmen says, are you still working with Dan? He was fun. Yeah, I'm working with him for Tokyo Tours. And Midnight Snow says, what's it like working with Dan again? Uh, we were always like in contact as friends for the, like we became really close friends. So it was just like a very normal thing to start working on Tokyo Tours again. I kind of pitched it to him. Like I, I organized it all and I made little, I drew little screen ideas and I talked about the concept of like the quizzes that happen in between and like what I'm looking for um, to share with people and how I'd like him to capture like the B-roll and stuff like that. So it, it was like, an, you know, like, oh, what do you think? Does it sound like it's your kind of style? And he's like, yeah, let's do it. Like, it'll be great. So it's really great. Like we've always worked really well together. And yes, he does have great music. Chloe said Dan's music is great. His music is so good. And it really helped inspire me to work on my music because he was kind of like someone I could ask about. Like, I'm just started using Ableton. Like, I don't know how this works. Like, Dan, can you, you know, any tips? And he'd help me out with that. So he's kind of helped me grow with my music as well. And I'm always like cheering on with his music because his music is amazing. And I don't know why it doesn't have more views. It should. And that's music. It's very opinionated, right? And stuff like that. Um, Arian Soul said, have I ever thought about a collab with Shogo? He lives in Kyoto. I don't watch a lot of YouTubers, so I don't know who Shogo is. That's what I was going to say. Obsidian Moon says, I miss Dan's DJ's live streams. I know. That was so good. He had these live streams when I was back in Toronto and it really felt great. I met a whole new community um, through Dan's live streams and the Beats Ramen Life community. They're, they're still, like, they're still going and they're delightful people. We're always, like, still chatting online and stuff like that, so... Yeah. Do you also play Genshin Impact? I recently got hooked. It's a beautiful game, but not available on Switch yet. No, I pretty much only uh, do stuff on Switch. I never really gamed my entire life. I am the youngest child. And so out of all the people that I hung out with, like, like my sister and my neighbors and stuff, I was always the youngest. So I don't know if any of you guys experienced this, but when they play video games, you, you tend to just watch. So when we played Zelda, I would just watch. When we played Sonic the Hedgehog, I would just watch. Cause I was like, like the littlest one. So I remember being excited about watching games. And so I'm kind of like a game watcher. This is my very first game to ever play that's mine. 
Animal Crossing. It's like the only game I've ever just been like, it's me playing it. I don't know what to do. And you guys, the first time I visited my friend Amanda's island, she's like played Animal Crossing like all the redirections of it and stuff, iterations of it. I didn't know how it worked. And I walked up to one of her stones and she said to me, oh yeah, you can take whatever you want, like, you know, plants or, or fruit and stuff. And I was like, cool. I had eaten a bunch of fruit. I didn't know what it did. And I just smashed the shit out of one of her rocks and the rocks like materialize in particular places. And so she had found a particular spot that worked for her. And she's like, why would you do that? And I'm like, I don't know. I felt so, I felt so bad, but she was really good. Yeah. Oh, nice seeing you, Martina, Doreen says. That's my mom. Hi, mom. Mom, you should be asleep, young lady. It's too late. It's like 11.36 p.m. In, in Toronto right now. Young lady, you have an early morning. I don't know, do you? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Spiritfarer, Genshin. Cobra Ryu said, I think you said you wouldn't go back to Tokyo. Seems it would be awesome to go before the tourists come back. Yeah, I, no, I would totally go back to, to Kyoto. I don't know if I like said that incorrectly. Um, exactly before the tourists come back. Uh, nothing wrong with tourism, but it definitely creates a different kind of busyness. And there's been a, a real difference in busyness in Tokyo, like a real lack of crowdedness. Like still it's crowded because it's Japan, but um, yeah. But also it means you can't really blend in and film. If you try to film something, it's like, there's somebody filming, so you have to be a lot more subtle and get comfortable with the people. But yeah, I have been planning, like, you guys, look at the crowd. Like, you see him? Look at him. Look at, look at him go. Do it, buddy. Do a little bit. Are you okay? Are you all right in there? <laughs> Hang in there. Hang in there, little buddy. Do I need to get you a little, like, Little water wings? This crab looks real stressed. Um, Nadia M says, is everyday life in Japan still he heavily impacted by COVID or back to normal? Uh, it is, I'd say right in the middle. So everybody wears masks. We wear masks on the train. We wear masks inside of locations, which I have no problem with um, because yeah, as someone who can get sick easily because of my chronic illness, it's delightful that other people are wearing masks, but it's kind of normal in Japan that if you get sick, you wear a mask. You don't think to yourself, you know, like it's weird to wear a mask. Like why wouldn't you do something so simple as to wear, you know, a cloth to keep your germs out. So people have always done that. Allergy season has been amazing. I didn't have to use allergy pills this year. I just wore a mask and amazingly it just helps your allergies. It keeps the pollen out. Um, but the izakayas and the bars have opened up again. So you can go out and you can stay out late before everything closed at 9 PM. So now things are open again. Um, they've kind of slowed down on the checks. Like before, when you walked in, um, you had to get like the forehead check or the wrist check, and then you wash your hands with the disinfectant. Now they're kind of like, hey, and they sometimes check your temperature. Sometimes they don't. Like you use the hand pump on your own. If you don't, they don't make you go back. So that's getting a little bit more lax. Um, yeah, that, that's, the kind of, that's the kind of stuff that's happening around here now. But still, a lot of things are like limited ticket wise. Like I tried to go back to Disneyland because I love Disneyland Japan and um, I just couldn't buy tickets. They're like limiting the amount of tickets they're selling. So amount of people being let in places is limited. They're still doing that seat spacing. So when, you went, when I went to the dentist uh, or the, the hospital, it's like there's a seat and then there's like a crossed off seat and a seat. So that kind of stuff is still happening, you know? Yeah, so that, that's, a, that's about it. Um, I'm really distracted by this ridiculous crab, right? He's absolutely hilarious. Luke Smith says, do you have any more plans for more midnight munchies? Those are my favorite. Uh, yes, I have a bunch of plans and I even have footage that I filmed when I first moved to my apartment. I made a midnight munchies, or it was actually a morning munchies, Japanese breakfast edition regarding konbini stuff. So like, if you go to the konbini in Japan, what can you make for breakfast? And I did a bunch of like, Conveni hacks where I took certain things and like opened them up and made them a little bit like better than they are. And I completely forgot I filmed it. So I've got some stuff to work on and edit. Karumi, thank you so much. Excited to hear that your projects are coming to life and happy to finally catch one of your streams. Much love from Rob and Claire in Vancouver. Hi, Vancouver. Are you guys enjoying uh, lower temperatures? I really, really hope. Yeah. 
reading lots of people's opinions on this, yeah. Oh, Kimi CL, have you ever met Hoju, Hoju Sada? She's an Australian YouTuber that moved to Korea and unfortunately passed away. Yes, I knew Sarah. I didn't know her as well as um, like Nick did, but Nick and Hugh are really good friends of mine. We all, we all still chat and like just shocked and heartbroken. I remember asking her like, oh, how's Sarah doing? And she's like, oh, you know, she's coming along and she's too young, 31. She's passed away from leukemia. So it's a big shock to the, uh, especially the Korean YouTube community. But I think it needs to remind us all that like life is short. You don't know what's going to happen to you. And Sarah is one of the most like positive people telling everyone to push on and be positive, even though what she's gone through, you know? So that was a real, that was a real shock. So I've been chatting with Nick lately and you know, there are, I think they're all still a bit um, shocked by the whole situation, but yeah, it's really, 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 just, I know, right? Obsidian Moon, I know. It's really, really shocking. I can't believe it. it. Just goes to show you, you know? So it's awful and it also really needs to be a reminder of, you know, you have to live life. You can't be scared to do things because you don't know what life's gonna deal you, you know? Yeah. Yeah, Blind Box Betty, she suddenly got leukemia in May and then she was fighting it and then it just took over and then she hung in there for Nick to fly down to see her and then she passed away a couple hours later. So it was really incredibly um, just like shocking to everybody. So yeah, it's it's pretty intense though. So if you go visit her channel and um, other tags and stuff, there's a lot of conversation about it. It's quite, it's very sad and, and just prepare yourself if you're not in the right mindset for dealing with that right now, you know, yeah. Um, ice me out. I wait, hang on. Ice me out like Elsa. Ice me out like Elsa. Got it. What about Sharla? Oh, I know Sharla and I know Chris and, um, I don't know Joey and Aki very well. I've met Joey before once, but I know Chris and Sharla and, um, I've chatted with Sharla. Like we talk, we talk on Instagram and when she went to Korea, I was giving her some places that she could visit because I know she was vegetarian and and um, we, I gave her like my information for my vet and stuff when she had to bring her cats and all these different things. So we, we chat, but they live up north, right? So I'm in Tokyo and I don't know. I just don't think I've ever really done like collabs. Like I don't really know how to, co how to collab with people. I think that I come across as overly chatty and I mean, I am chatty, but my personality can be really strong. And I don't know if, if I'm gonna bowl over people and come across as, as obnoxious. Like, I don't know if I meant to, to collab with people. I'm not sure. I did a live stream before with like Chris and um, a bunch of other YouTubers and the comments were so like mean to me specifically. They were like, oh, that blonde girl is so annoying. And like, she keeps interrupting Chris and blah, blah, blah. But what they didn't know was like, there were certain cues that Chris had that he had forgotten. And so I was trying to be like, oh, what about this and that? And like cue him and he's like, oh yeah, cause it was his first live stream but the commenters did not like me. So I was like, I don't think I'm everyone's cup of tea, you guys. I don't know about that. So yeah, welcome May, welcome to the live stream. Um, Blair Dunn says it is 4.42 AM in England right now. So lucky to have caught your stream as I prepare to fly out to Barcelona. Barcelona, um, sorry to hear about the queen. Don't know if you're into the queen or not, but Queen has the Queen of England has passed away pretty incredible woman taking on the crown and all that stuff at just like 23 or 25 or something and like quite a strong woman to get through all that stuff uh, all the wars and everything's like that um, now she can now she can rest uh, 442 so I guess you're going to go travel that's the whole idea right all right let's continue my tour I don't have any sharks somebody mentioned that but I think this is all pretty pretty. I've terrified them, spotted eels. Look at this little shrimp buddy. I love this little rainbow shrimp buddy. Greetings from Los Angeles. Hello, CJ6565. Um, Lush to Flare 92 says it's nice to watch even though I'm currently sick. Um, Andy Chin said, don't let the haters stop you. Oh, they're not stopping me. I just don't know if, I don't know if I'm, you know, meant to do these things. I, I won't be like, no, if we get a hold of each other and, and something naturally comes along, but you know, well, thanks. I'm glad that you, I'm your cup of tea. Um, ignorant of many things. I like that. Yeah. But you know, we, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what goes on. I've had a couple of messages from other people as well to do some collabs, but I was just really 
too busy trying to just kind of get my own life together. You know, there's so much stuff. Oh, I'm back to the crab. <laughs> there's so much stuff you have to do in Japan when you first move back. And I started out in one prefecture during the COVID. Um, like when I first arrived, I was in like the um, Kanagawa prefecture, which is outside of Tokyo. And that's where I was staying at a short term apartment stay. And then I moved to Tokyo. But once you arrive in Tokyo and I had a like a legal visa, right? So I had to register at City Hall, which means that I have to register again at a different City Hall once I moved to my apartment. So there was just so much paperwork and everything. Richard Pacio says, hello from New Mexico. I've been binge watching your videos over and over. God, I love your style of editing. Thank you, Richard. Wow, what a compliment. Buh, buh. Years of untrained editing skills have finally worked out. I did not go to school for editing or anything videography related. It's just been figure out as I go. Started on iMovie, moved to Final Cut, Final Cut Pro, and um, learning about, yeah, tons of stuff, making music. And so thank you so much. I'm so glad to hear that. I know it's a quirky style, <laughs> but it's mine, right? <laughs> oh man. Okay, I've been sitting in the fish museum this whole time. This is just making me hungry. Not that I would eat a tropical fish. Oh, it's Miranda. She's so snobby. Let's say hi. What up, girl? Oh, Starberry. It seems like ages since we last talked. It must have been about mm, one month now. It's hard to not take that personally, my dear. Great, Miranda. Oh my, what is it? Godzilla? I asked her to call me Godzilla. What's the latest, Miranda? Watching fish swimming in crystal clear water, it calms my mind, it helps me relax. Godzilla! <laughs> in fact, I'm feeling so relaxed, I think a nap might be in order. You need me for something? Godzilla! Let's talk, Miranda. I do hope the fish feel comfortable here. It certainly appears Blather's made a lovely new home for them. I think that's enough Godzilla for one day, right? Uh, Mako Senshi says, wait, Mako, Mako Senshi, Mako Senshi says, hi Martina, finally I catch you online, it's really nice to see you, lots of love for Chile, lots of love from Chile, hello, uh, what time is it in Chile right now? I don't usually stream this early, you know? Let's keep, uh, I think we're, I think we're ready to, have we seen everything in the museum here? Was there like another, oh I didn't go this way yet, that's what's happening. Luke Smith says, very serious question. Which mythical creature do you think could defeat a dragon? I'm gonna go ahead and say a tanuki. Um, the tanuki is, wait, wait. I have a tanuki. Ah, my, my bones. The tanuki. He is a sleepy tanuki. If you can, oh geez, you can see he's a very sleepy tanuki. The Japanese tanuki is a mythological trickster spirit. They go around and they can put on the form of human skin, not skin, that sounds really gross. Like they can turn into partial humans and stuff. And they go around tricking people by offering them things that they want. So they can turn into, I'm probably, they can probably turn into different creatures too. So they could trick the dragon into, for example, accepting gold or, you know, um, pretending that they're a knight or all different kinds of like they're a magician or something. And they could offer the dragon something they couldn't resist, perhaps like a ruby or gold because they love gold. But everything this Nuki offers is actually just made out of things like um, leaves and, and acorns. And until you realize it's a Nuki, you have to identify it, which can be seen by either the tail the tail will sometimes like be wiggling underneath its robes or whatever outfit it's in. If you go, oh wait, that's a tanuki tail. Then it goes like back into tanuki form, which I always go tanuki, which I don't think it says, but then it turns back into the tanuki and you've caught it and then usually it flees. So I think that a tanuki with its shape-shifting abilities would definitely trick a dragon. This guy's really, really sleepy. But yes, tanuki. Tanuki goes back to where he is. There you go, buddy. Back on the couch. Snuggling. Um, oh God. 
Andrea3952 says, love your vids so much, we'd be doing anything for Halloween season. I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure out, I've never gone to one of those, like, you know how hotels have, well, I don't know if you know, hotels in Japan will do their best to make like Halloween um, sweets and stuff like that, only for like tea time. And it's really the only place that kind of does Halloween. Everything else is just mostly like food related, as in like pumpkin based or chestnut based. But theme wise, it's mostly just hotels. I'm trying to decide if I want to blow like 30 bucks on a cafe meal. But if it's like really interesting looking and I can make a video out of it, then maybe it's worth it. But sometimes my like, I'm like, $30, $30 for this. Just like the principle of it's like, ah, but you know, maybe that would be interesting. I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out. Ah, Guang Guang Zhu said, I would have said Tanuki as well. That's right. Uh, D Monk said, just wanted to pop in and say, your videos have been a comfort source for me and you're a wonderful person for spreading y'all this positivity, always rooting for you. Well, thank you. Try my best for me and for you guys as well. Um, Medid Geek says, Martino, why is your aquarium so empty and why have we not caught any sharks? I've tried to catch sharks. I have tried very hard to catch sharks, but I am a very poor fisherman, it seems, which is insane because I come from like a Newfoundland family line and I should be able to catch fish. But they'll be like, and then I smack the button and then nothing. I'm just, I'm just horrible. Oh, Stephanie Reepcast says, go to USJ, which is United Studios Japan for Halloween. Um, it seems like it's really scary, but it's a good idea. I usually go to um, Disney Sea for Halloween because Disney Sea offers the villains of all the Disney movies take over. And I'm like, that's pretty cool. So that's kind of like what I want to do, but we'll see if I can get tickets to go. And I have to drag out some friends who may not like theme parks. They'll be like, you're coming with me. <laughs> and actually, I realized that I kind of lied before when I said I don't play another game and I saw it pop up text. I do play Stardew Valley. I have a Stardew Valley farm. Um, I play it. I have like, yeah, I'm growing little crops and I have like, I think I have purple hair and blue skin and like, yeah, I actually play Stardew Valley. So that's the other game that I play. Good night to Angelica. Take your meds, rest and hydrate. I shall. Bombs Fade Away said, I was super bad at fishing until I started closing my eyes and going by the sound. It helped me so much. Oh, everyone's saying the same thing. <gasps> All right. Ozzy Chomp, just wanted to say I'm loving your Tokyo tours. It's funny, good, relaxing videos. Thanks for making your videos. You are more than welcome. I'm so pleased to hear you're enjoying them. Put a lot of work into those puppies. All right, it's daytime. We've nearly forgotten that it's daytime. This is my insane area in the island. Of course, the one place that I didn't patch up. Freaking fossil grows. But this is like, oh dear, it's so difficult to find things. There's literally a fossil outside of his. He's just being a lazy owl. Um, this area is my complex little like crazy wonderland of, of cut-ups. I think it looks quite nice. We head on over here. This is Klaus's house. Klaus is a one of my favorite bears. He is super snobby. Okay, we're gonna find him. Uh, I put all the gold things outside of his house to match his house, and I made him this little pond. And then this is, oh, she's not home. Miranda, the sassy duck, who lives in like a house with just like, oh, there's Klaus. <gasps> He's wearing my sailor uh, Jupiter outfit that I gave him. You guys, amazing, absolutely amazing. And he calls me um, Sailor Moon. Hey, Sailor Moon, right? Yo, it's been forever and a day since we talked, hasn't it? Like one month or something? Wow. Okay, rub it in, everybody. Well, better late than never when it comes to Klaus. Light rail, check your butt, choo-choo. <laughs> he calls me Sailor Moon, and I also put check your butt in, and my nephew loved that they called me check your butt, and so now Klaus calls me check your butt. So that's it. Uh, good night, Carmen. Wait, what noise does a light rail make? Oh my God, he looks adorable in his Sailor Jupiter. I also gave him a dress. I like that a while ago, I wasn't able to give um, certain characters things. Like they didn't accept it, but now male, female, it doesn't matter. They'll accept dresses and stuff. So sometimes I see them like living their best lives in like beautiful purple gowns and stuff. So it makes me happy. The rainbow steps are cute, right? Yeah, it's a pretty amazing outfit. I'm, I'm just absolutely loving this. Have a little more. All right, you got my attention. What's up, check your butt. This checker butt thing I got from 
um, Tom Cardi. He has an amazing song called Check Your Butthole. And he's like, I don't, I can't even imitate it, but he's like, have you checked your butthole? Ski bop, be bop, butthole. Like whenever anyone says something like, I can't find my keys. And he's like, have you checked your butthole? Tom Cardi, if you don't know him, very, very funny. Hi, Noya Hironi. Let's just chat, Mr. Gossip. Yo, I hear my favorite wandering artisans rolled up on the island. That's right, Sahara Hara is here. If you're thinking about redecorating, she's the one to talk to, Sailor Moon. She has a unique way of doing business. As an artisan myself, I can respect that. Check your butt! <laughs> Yay, Klaus, you're the best. All right, see you later, bud. And this is where sticks on the ground. This, oh, this sticks everywhere. What is that thing hopping around? Did you guys see that? Oh, okay. It's a very weird looking grasshopper. That was weird, right? It felt glitchy. Uh, over here is where, Cla um, not Klaus, um, my YouTube buddy is living. Lemon Lion says, Sheba Dog with sparkles in his eyes saying, my hero. <laughs> I love the text version of the stickers and stuff. It's so cute. Thanks so much, Lemon Lime. Glitter24, I have made a cold tomato soup and for lunch today, I'm gonna to be having lobster bisque, which I got from a convenience store. Japan loves it. Oh, I definitely dumped a pansy in here when I didn't have any room to hold anything. Uh, none of them call me Kogi, no, but that's a good idea. Richard Pacheco says, have you checked your butthole? Have you seen the mixed messages? I felt so bad when my dog gets kicked and has the crutch. Mixed messages, like Richard, uh, Tom Cardi is so hilarious. He has so many amazing ones. I got started on him like last, last year or so. And, uh, oh no, my box are full officially, okay. Drop it, drop it. Like a dog with something in its mouth. Um, I love the Simimasen one. He's like, Simimasen, what, what, did, what did he say? Sami Masen, Sami Masen, Mother Ukin Sami Masen, Sami Masen, Sami Masen, Sami Masen, what are you sorry for? Everything. And it was like this whole, oh, I'm going to Nihongo. Do you know? I'm going to Tokyo. Do you know Nihongo? Only Skoshi because I watch anime. What's the thing that you're gonna say? Sami Masen, Sami Masen, Mother Ukin Sami Masen, Sami Masen. Sorry. That's the song. It's amazing. I sing it all the time. <laughs> okay, I got distracted. We are going to go visit the Tanuki Bros. We're gonna sell them all my stuff. Oh no, a guy raid. Oh, I can't pick it up, can I? Ginny Kang says, what are you craving right now? Everything, Ginny, I'm craving everything. Everyone keeps telling me to just eat ice cream and pudding, but like, I don't want to, number one, become extraordinarily overweight, which I can do very easily, then it'll kill my knees and ankles. And I also want to not be nutritionally devoid. So I'm trying to like, you know, put my nutrition through blended things, but. Oh, he's wearing the other shirt I got him. What up, bud? Hey, buddy, I like that shirt of yours. Um, what am I really, really craving? Ramen, and that's one of the first things that I'm gonna eat. I literally asked the doctor when I can start eating ramen. And he's kind of like, maybe in a week or so. So I'm not gonna eat the char shoe, I'm not gonna have the egg. I'll have to go with a friend and be like, I'm gonna dump this all on you. But I'm just gonna, oh no, there's ramen available in Nook's Cranny. Very stressful. Hey dudes, what's up? What do you need today? I would like to sell you some of my stuff. What am I offering? You're gonna love this, guys. I have a sea snail. I have snapper. I've got wood. That's right. I've got white pansies. I have oranges, a conch, some freaking sticks. Um, perhaps you like some sand dollars, maybe some clams. Do you want some cowries? Uh, I am carrying these all. Would you like a spino tail? How would you feel about this ammonite? Pretty good, right? I got some bamboo. I've got some potatoes, sugar cane. Um, keeping the holly bush. And a couple more potatoes. It looks pretty good. What do you guys think about buying this? Look at all these fine things. I will take that price sold. Uh, Ganalysis says the game feels laggy. 
it doesn't look laggy on my side, uh, but it's possible sometimes that you can like refresh it and maybe that helps out. It's 1080p, I can't do 4K or my, um, it has like a weird frame rate on my face. Steph Lou, hello from Etobicoke. Etobicoke, hey, if you're from Etobicoke, you need to go to Two Bears Coffee. Okay, it's located in the back alley area where they film all the, you know, the movies that are always filmed in that film area. And there's like Dimple Myers Bakery and like all those kind of like warehouse places. Look up Two Bears Coffee. They make amazing coffee. You can go in and just get like a latte or oat thing or whatever and they're bueno. But they're hidden in the back alleyway. That's what I was gonna say. All right, well, this is unfair. Oh, this is Dun Dun Men. <sighs> Yes, I'll buy your Tantan Men. <laughs> tantan Men I could definitely not eat right now. Okay, Tantan Men is made with noodles and broth, often like a soy milk, and then they kind of like put in little pieces of um, pork that's been kind of like fried and they pour it in with like a sesame seed and like almost like a creamy peanut buttery taste to it. You can get um, vegetarian Tantan Men at this place called Teas Tan at Tokyo Station and a bunch of other places and it's like just as good, quite thick. But Tantan Men has so many little bits in it, it would just fill the holes, which are my dental problems. But <sighs> anyways, I gotta get out of here. Um, I think I have everything else. I have giant bears. Don't touch me. I have the stool over here. Ah, no, leave me alone. Ah, oh, they got me. I like to play the how long can I keep away from them game. Jason, hi from Toronto. Wow, there's so much people from Toronto spotting in here now. Feels like it's like my mom goes to bed and all the Torontonians come out. My mom is in Toronto too. Uh, oh, very good point. Um, koi no doite. Wait. Koi no doite? Maybe? Said, what about kanji? Absolutely. Once I think I go a couple more days, I had them pulled on Tuesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, it's been three days. They feel like little gummy bears have been melted down and stuffed into the sockets. So when I touch it with my tongue, I just feel this little jelly. It's really gross. I am worried that if I have kanji and I have little bits of like rice or chicken or onion or sesame seed, it might get caught in there. So right now I've been doing pure, blended, completely smooth things. So Exo Molly's from Mississauga and Hamilton, but living in Edmonton right now, no way. My favorite pho place ever is in Mississauga. I made a video about it actually, how to eat pho. Um, and that one is like the best pho ever. So yeah. All right, y'all, we're gonna leave this cute little area. Thanks, you two. Korean juke, juke is kanji. Um, I never call it kanji anymore kanji, I call it juke. And everyone goes, what? And I go kanji and they go, what? And then in Japan, I'm like, oyaku or something. I think it's oyaku, but Always juke in my mind. Juke. You make me want to juke, baby, juke, baby, juke, baby, juke, and juke, and juke. Shotgun bang. What's up with that thing? I want to know how you going to blend it. That's what we're going to say. We're not going to continue that line. Now to harvest pumpkins mindlessly. Apparently, there is somebody on my island staying in one of the places, and I have two empty um, houses right now because two people moved out. Uh, oh, there's Kyle. Let's see what Kyle has to say. What up, brah? Hey, we finally meet again. I feel like I've been waiting in line for months. I guess we're both busy, living separate lives here. On well, you can have your folks call my folks whenever they want. I'll clear the calendar for you. Yo, mama, what have you gotten yourself into? Let's chat, Kyle. I think about my hair a lot, but then again, so do other folks. You're probably thinking about it right now. <laughs> You want to know the key to my locks? The right shampoo. I use a special shampoo that really gets into your scalp and shocks the follicles into behavior. Technically, it's more of a motor oil than a shampoo. But the rules don't apply to my hair, yo mama. He calls me yo mama. Great conversation. I loved it. Yo, you want to chat? I don't blame you, yo mama. You know what? Nothing but. Any worries? Sometimes you've got other things to do. See you later, Kyle, buddy. Here's some confetti for you out of my pocket because I carry it everywhere and we're out. <laughs> Hobakjuk, that's what Stormy on said. Hobakjuk is like uh, the, the pumpkin soup that I've been making too though. So something, yeah, blended up would be really good, right? 
Uh, Lemon Lime Explosion, hello from my partner and I in Vancouver. Hello, fellow uh, Vancouver Knights. There are a couple people from Vancouver in here right now. We even had um, Toronto, Mississauga. We had uh, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick in the house. We had some Manitoba, I believe. Um, I think we might have had Alberta. Got a little scattering of all the um, time zones across here. Cypher, dude, you're a Toronto icon. Since eat your kimchi. Uh, I, I, I don't know about that. Don't feel very iconic. Feel very YouTube-y. I, I, I don't really know, but I do love Toronto and I do love um, visiting lots of places in Toronto. And when I go back, it's gonna be very hardcore Toronto blogging. I can't wait uh, to do Koreatown. I can't wait to go to Chinatown, J-Town, go to Little Italy, go to Little Portugal, visit some different African nations, hit up Rexdale. I can't wait to show uh, the Jamaican beef patty, which is an amazing part of Toronto. I can't wait to try goat roti and show people. There's just so many things I can blog about in, um, in Toronto because the food scene is amazing and not really talked about that much. Yeah, and of course poutine, we're gonna have to discuss it. Hey, look at that. We got Melissa from Ontario. We got Crazy Elizabeth from Edmonton. We got Sissy in Edmonton. We got Hydrangeas in Ottawa. All of Canada's here. Bird Flop from Denver. We got Britney Spears from Chicago. We got uh, Alec from Victoria. Ronnie Ricca from Toronto. No, I'm not iconic. And plus, I'm like, I'm, I'm an old YouTuber, right? Like, I started in like 2008. And there's all these new, you know, like trendy people now and like TikTok. I'm not upset if I'm not like, this is trendy. Like, you know, just like we've been doing this forever, you know? We'll see. We'll see if they can all survive. It's quite hard just to stay online. And, and I mean, for me, I love being creative. So it's not a thought process for me. Uh, I just, I just do it. I don't think I could, couldn't live without being insanely um, creative all the time. But that's, uh, that's just me. Where is my gyroid collection? To the gyroids. You guys, this is getting out of control. This is getting really out of control. I, I have maybe too many of them. Uh, have I had Jerk King? I've absolutely had Jerk King, um, Stephanie. There's a bunch of Jerk Kings um, all around. Hey, Trinity Bells. Yes, Bay Area. We got Seattle. Oh, Spook, if you're into drum and bass, an excellent um, artist known as John First. He just arrived in Seattle and he's doing a show. He's awesome, I love his music. And um, he hasn't been able to tour for a while, but yeah, he's finally there. So if you're into that, what is this weird little thing? All right, join my weird alien family. Oh, you can't move them, let's see. Oh, Vancouver, New C, Houston, Texas. We got more, va uh, more Vancouver, Texas Hill Country. Yeehaw, says Princess um, Bobby Bear. Atlanta, Georgia, Shelby Moore. I gained so much weight in Atlanta, Georgia. My God, the food is so good. It was just really good. This guy is going for it. Look at him. He's like, oh, yeah, I love this shit. Oh, and the sun went out. Moving up close to change the ISO, y'all. Oh, too light. I'm so white, I don't want to blind you guys. Mm, there we go. Hey, from Arizona, we got Sydney. We got the Philippines. Aloha from Hawaii. We've got Rapid City, South Dakota. Yes, Jerk King is so good. Um, we got Boston, an insomniac in Boston. You are, uh, we have a lot of insomniacs uh, around here, so welcome to the Insomniac Club. We got Tacoma, Washington, Houston, Texas. Um, does the gyroids come from the DLC? I don't know what that means, uh, but these are apparently new. It was like an update, but they're old. They're from the old game. And everyone's like, well, you're gonna love these gyroids. I'm like, are we talking about food, like gyros or something? You dig them up and they dance to whatever song you put on. So I have like the Japanese summer festival dance and they just go for it. Look at the pig, it's like Kogi. We got Melbourne in the house. We got Maryland, um, north of Seattle. Uh, Muff Vamp, excellent name, Maryland. Uh, <laughs> Sa'a says, Martina, can you do a vegetarian, a ve vegan vegetarian options in Tokyo? Okay, so I'm not against it, I will. But my belief system as someone who is not a vegetarian or vegan is that the place has to taste good no matter what. When I was in Tokyo, um, there's a place called Plant, and my friend who, well, I got to know her, 
Plant makes unbelievably delicious food. It's a vegan place. She makes incredible wraps. She makes incredible cakes. Like the food was legit delicious. And another place called Spoon that I love, Sukadok, but it was amazing, right? Some places it's either very bland or like they're just kind of doing like basic things that anyone could do and they're expensive. I don't like that shit. I don't like expensive vegan vegetarian food when you're using no meat protein in there. Like what's the expense? So if I find a place for you, I, I posted for like, I have Patreon and I have YouTube memberships. So I, play, I posted up a place for people who are, um, you know, part of the memberships that is vegetarian vegan. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna film at that particular location. It was like part of the special like Google map things. But if I find a place that, cause I eat anywhere, I eat vegetarian, vegan, whatever. If I find a place that's really good, that I can safely say, it doesn't matter if you're a meat eater, this place is just good. I will 100% film this video, okay? need to figure it out though. That's what I got to do. It's so different than being in different parts of the world where vegan vegetarian is like everywhere, you know? All right, we got Portland, Oregon. Um, we got the Seattle gang. We got Sweden. Good Morgan from Sweden. We've got Newcastle, Australia, Missouri. We've got South Texas. Oh, DLC, download content. I see. Um, oh, mac and cheese, right? How am I taking it so well after wisdom tooth surgery? The doctor was so gentle and amazing. He, didn't, he knew about my EDS. He didn't over open my jaw. It's definitely painful, but I have just like such a massive pain tolerance. It's, it's like, oh, this sucks, but like everything else is in pain. So it, it doesn't kind of balances out for me. And they gave me painkillers, which I'm mixing with my current painkillers for EDS. Uh, and the doctors talked about it. Japan is notoriously bad at prescribing anything high prescription. So they're pretty low, but I've just been, you know, like icing, not filming, staying in the house, using a little gargle, not eating anything solid, like, and I'm just happy that it didn't go badly. I thought it would go like stitches and broken teeth and like, it just, it did not. So I'm so, so, so happy. Uh, Georgie says, Martina, what do you think about the Wheel of Time TV show? Georgie, I freaking love it and can't wait for it to come back again because I'm a huge uh, Wheel of Time fan. I read all the Robert Jordan books and when he passed away, I read the last one that was made and I read the new one that starts at the beginning, but they've only done it recently, like spring or something. I read those books through middle school and high school and like waited for them to come out. And the show is doing a pretty awesome job so far. It is such a confusing world. Uh, very, very confusing. So I'm surprised they've able to do it, but I'm waiting forever. When will it come out again? I keep touching my face. Ow. When will it come out again? That's what I would like to know. Oh, Animal Crossing has an expansion pack. I see, I see. No, I haven't paid for any expansion packs. It's just um, whatever I have is whatever I have right now. The garage is not part of the new one. You have to purchase it. I see, yeah, no. And um, you can make things in kitchens now. I don't have a kitchen, but I have started growing some like wheat sugar canes back here, see? So I can make sugar and you have to go to this island and talk to people to bring in more producers to help you make like sugary things and stuff, like to get potatoes and your hair cut and all this stuff. But I have to confess, the name of the guy that runs that tippy island is like a puppy dog and his name is Big Harv. And my dad's name was Harvey. And so I find it like a bit too emote, emote right now. Every time they're like, you should visit Big Harv's Island. I'm like, and I got a little like choked. So I've just been avoiding Big Harv for now, but I will eventually go to the island. For now, we're gonna rack in the uh, bells with my gourd money. Plus I get to go, my gourds, which is like one of my favorite things to yell out. I recommend the gourds, you guys, it's so much better. Uh, Christy says, will you be able to graduate to soft food like scrambled eggs soon? I don't know wh what you guys feel about this because I can bite with my front teeth, like like I can nibble, but then you have to just go like and swallow. So I don't know if I want to do if I want to do scrambled eggs yet. I'm a bit I'm a bit hesitant. Is all I'm saying. I'll get there though. But ramen is my next goal. Ramen noodles, so I can just slurp them straight down my throat. Not some potatoes. So this is my, uh, my pansies have gone well out of control, if you can't see right now. This is the other part of the island that I haven't shown you guys yet. So I have an upper level. Uh, it's kind of like the Martina Chill Zone area and a couple of people live here. This is my bestie's house. I wonder if she's around. Oh, she is. This is Tangy. Sometimes she's very passive aggressive to me when I haven't been around for a while. 
Oh, Fernando, thank you so much for chatting. You always make your videos with a compelling visual style and a perspective that's been so fun to watch over the past decade. Thank you for staying creative and taking us all on your adventures. Well, thank you so much, Fernando. I hope to keep taking you guys on adventures and keep being myself and hopefully you guys will be okay with that. Because you can't be anyone else, but you are. Now to Tangy for words of wisdom and scolding. I don't know why she calls me Glitter, but it's her new thing. Glitter, it's been a while. Where have you been? Huh? You weren't gone for long? Oh my gosh, was I the only one who didn't see much of you, Glitter? I guess we both got caught up in chasing dreams, huh? We should slow down and chat. I feel like you always have time to chat whenever you want, and I always have a lot to say. No, seriously, some days I have so much to say. You can see why we're best friends. She reminds me of Jackie. Huh? Oh, were you talking to me? Sorry, I was way in the DIY zone, Godzilla. What'd you have to, girlfriend? Um, well, I'm making a cardboard sofa. Wow. Nice. I dreamt this idea when I fell asleep watching Maglovs in Love. It's about trains in love. One of them, hang on, not important. It doesn't matter if Maglov Mike took the relationship off the rails. Because I'm building a thing. Hey, Glitter, do you want to know how to make a cardboard sofa too? Sure, but girl, I think I already know how to make it. I'm going to be the first pop star slash fashion designer slash DIY guru. Thank you. I've always wanted to know how to build a cardboard sofa. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alice Mutton with a serious question. Martina, a very serious question. Not a very serious question. Are you a soft bread or crusty bread person? Or are you not a bread person? And I'm a person. And I'm asking the rest of the chat too. Okay. I love bread. I love bread. I love anything made with bread, like pizza. I like pasta. I like all the flour stuff. I like soft bread for particular things. I like crusty bread for particular things. I don't like it when a sandwich has such crusty bread that when you try to bite into it, you like can't break through it and it like falls apart. But crusty bread for a grilled cheese sandwich or like a grilled ham cheese sandwich, you gotta hold it up. Sometimes crusty bread is amazing for a good um, French toast, but the soft kind can be custardy and delightful as well. If you're gonna make like an egg salad sandwich, let's go with some soft bread. Everything around you should be soft. But the crusty bread, I don't like the um, super dry, like rye style bread for making sandwiches, but I love it toasted with some butter and just, uh, so good. All the bread, that's, that's the correct answer, I believe, it's all the bread. Yes, Lady Ezreal says, I love all the bread. Laura the fangirl hates bread crust. Well, you would love Japan because they don't do bread crust on their stuff. Everything is baked in like a pure to the edge and everything is super, super soft. Obsidian said, not into bread myself, but each type of bread has its place. I have a weakness for fresh homemade bread and butter. I would be very sus of anybody. I mean, if you can't eat it, I get it. But if you can eat bread and you don't like warm bread, it's like, we need to have a chat. I'd be concerned. Uh, so this is her area. I made this for her because she wants to be a pop star. I thought she should have a very cute purple home. She loves purple, it's her favorite color. She's got a purple bear, a little purple picnic area. Very cute. And what is this red one doing here? No, you don't match, I'm sorry. I think I have a pink one on me. <gasps> I do, that's right. Keep to the color scheme, Animal Crossing. Oh, ciabatta is so good. I, I, it's not that I can't eat uh, bread, it's that I gain weight very quickly. What a skill. I'd like to thank my mom and my Nana's side for gaining weight quickly, while my dad and my Baka uh, were very, very skinny mini like my sister. So I just gain weight so quickly, so I have to be careful because um, it can be painful for my joints. Like, plus it's not healthy for you know me to have that pressure pushing down on me. So I need to kind of like keep at a light, a lighter weight, but I also I eat for a living and I love eating food. I'm getting older, so my metabolism is slowed to a crawl. I remember when I used to eat two medium pizzas. Wait, back in my day, I remember when I used to order two medium pizzas and eat it, and I would lose weight just from putting it in my mouth. Just the action. I remember when I used to be able to eat like 24 chicken nuggies and just be like, oh, I'll be fine. Now I like look at bread and my butt's like, <laughs> man. Blind Box Betty, thank you so much. 
She said, it's not Harv Island that gives you the veg. It's a random island you visit from your peers within the captain. Also, happy to bring you some veg if you like. Oh, I keep forgetting that people are able to like visit and be like, here's some veg for you. And you can like plant it and grow it. From the streamer's perspective asks, Ella, is it better for us to watch here or on Twitch? Uh, for me, I have, I'm using the Streamlabs desktop, so I have multi-stream set up. I can see you guys talking on Twitch and there's a purple icon, and I can see everyone talking on YouTube with a little red one. And so for me, I think it's whatever platform you're comfortable with. So I'm not a pro streamer when it comes to this, so maybe there's some kind of like revenue stuff that people would prefer, but I don't really think about that when I'm streaming because I, I'm just, I can't believe anyone is super chatting. I'm really delighted and thankful, but I'm not doing something cool like, you know, I just beat this level and everyone's like, whoa, and they send like things and stuff. I'm like, I just picked up fossils. So it's really up to you, whatever platform you're comfortable with. Cause some people might be on Twitch more, YouTube more. So that's it. Uh, Leela says, will you ever get more tattoos? I have been contemplating my build a ladder tattoo for ages. Some of y'all have sent me photos of your build a ladder tattoos. I'm like, how do I not have a build a ladder tattoo? I'm thinking of maybe getting one on my finger so I can be like, build a ladder, like point to the sky and it's like on my inner finger, but it's a really small space. So I'm also considering um, adding it to my inner wrist because this is all completed. And then maybe like here I could have a ladder or something, but yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Rule, I used to eat two medium peaches up here brute ways. That's right. Oh, lovely. It's talking about a sourdough. You're killing me. You're killing me, Big Smalls. Sourdough, so good. Advanced team jacket. Okay, I gotta buy some of this stuff for my friends. Like I know Klaus will love this. I have to get this for um, Tangy, I think. Look at this, amazing. You guys, I told you this ages ago, but I haven't actually updated you on this. Yeah, I will. I guess I'll just get the top to give them. I made a ramen wrap. It's a wrap about ramen and I recorded it and mixed it down. Like Dan sent it off to be mastered. Like we literally set up a recording booth. It just came to me randomly. And now we're working on a music video. And I'm gonna ask some of my friends like Blumio and like some of my other friends that do video work, if they can help out. And we're gonna film like an old school, like rap video um, about ramen. And I'm chatting with someone to see if we can get some shots inside of a ramen shop, uh, which is quite complicated. It's very ridiculous. And I don't know why I've decided to do this, but you don't, you don't ask what the world gives you. You just accept it and move. But I can't wait till one day just be like, the ramen wrap is out. Uh, oh boy. Flaming spider NATO. Ooh, I can catch your stream live. I don't like this idea of a, of a flaming spider NATO. Seems quite scary. Worn out jeans. Who wore these jeans out? Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this desert princess outfit. No, no one in particular, of course. <gasps> Pilot's uniform, fedoras, exactly. Bunny hoods, I already have bunny hoods. Thank you very much. Weird anime eyes. I already have the cukes. The wrapper chains, right? Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty ridiculous, you guys. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna go viral. Wait, that, this name. Seesaw McGraw says, you're gonna go viral. I don't feel like I will uh, ever go viral again. I, I mean, not that I really went viral. Like my other channel was always like slow grow. It was just a slow growth and stuff, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to expect from the future. I'm just kind of like being me, if that makes sense. Just not being mean, not being mean, being me. And just seeing how that goes and the people who like it, like it. And the people who don't, don't have to, you know, I noticed I'm still wearing a bunny hood. <laughs> there we go. Okay. This outfit's terrible, but there's a reason I am buying this out, the shirt for one of my friends. And then I'm going to come back in and buy something else again. Why do I have cucumbers on my face? Is the million dollar question. Now, should we do anime eyes? Absolutely terrifying. Do you think I can give it to one of my villagers? Yes, we're gonna buy these for my villagers. Definitely. Yep, we're gonna purchase this. Cecilia plays, I am still alive. I am, I've been just chilling and hanging out with everybody. It's been nice to see you. Hi, you look great. Totally. Uh, just been chilling with everybody. You guys have been keeping me really great company. Nice to be distracted from uh, the, the pain. Ooh. 
Yeah, I did think about Chris's ramen shop, Linda, but it, it, like you were saying, uh, Aaron, it would be a hike to go to Chris's studio. It's up in Sendai. It, it is pretty far up. And oh, somebody told me that in Chris's studio, they spotted a crowd sticker. Loretta was there. He was he was uh, interviewing her. She was interviewing him. Loretta's a friend of mine too. And there was a crowd sticker. And I wonder, I have to message him like, do you know what this crowd sticker is? I don't think he does because I am not joking. If you guys are new to the channel or you're new right now and you don't know what I'm talking about, there are these stickers around Japan. A lot of graffiti artists make stickers and place them instead of spray painting because it's very illegal. The stickers are still illegal. Just got a message from Korea come in. However, Crod is the one sticker that makes it everywhere. Everywhere I visit, I can find Crod, while other ones are kind of like depending on the area. So Crod is just this completely insane I don't know if he's given or she has given it to a bunch of people and they kind of just wherever they go they sticker i just went to like a really deep fine location and i was scouting for tokyo tours last week before the dental stuff and um i found crawd there i was like crawd damn it um so i think that the crawd ended up in the studio because they were imitating a lot of like street stuff and i think they put the crawd in not chris i mean the designers unless one of the designers knows crawd ah it's too much guys too much stress uh anyhow yes uh cat b says have you managed to find cherry trees yes i have cherry trees i definitely do um and i am sorry for everyone who sees me dressed like this right now i am dressing like this in order to buy these outfits for my people on my island to give them okay so we've already got this um i have so many flannel shirts but it's very tempting to have more let's take these ridiculous glasses off Oh, I can't take them off because I'm already wearing them. Right. Oh, no. Okay. Let's just get some moody shades. We're going to get some moody. I already have a red flannel shirt, but I am tempted to get more red flannel shirts. Okay. You guys see the workout tops? There was a, a, a brown workout top like this, and I gave it to my squirrel on my island who's obsessed with working out, and it blended in with his skin, and now he looks like he's naked. I love it. <laughs> Chloe, we don't know what crawd means, but when when crawd came up, um, a lot of people looked it up online and they said it's a graffiti artist. So I don't really know what is going on, but there's definitely some definitely some graffiti artists like underground stuff happening. I've been following a bunch of uh, underground graffiti artists in Japan. So random story. I went to uh, the coffee shop I normally go to, and some guy was outside with his dog, and I was like, "Can I pet your dog?" And I pet his dog, and then he spoke English. He lived overseas for a bit and he told me he loved my tattoo. I told him, oh, I love designy stuff. And then he's like, oh, I like collecting um, like graffiti stuff. We talked about crawd. We exchanged like different, like I showed him my photo album. I have a photo album of stickers. And he's like, oh, that's my friend. That's my friend from Osaka. And then he gave me a sticker from the back of his phone. That's like a graffiti artist signed sticker. I'm gonna go get it and show you guys. And yeah, so it turns out that it's not just me. There are definitely people who are like into, um, following these like graffiti artists. Uh, Stephanie says, when did crawd become a thing? For me, I noticed crawd years ago when I visited Japan from Korea and I took photos of it and it's been adding up in my folder. I just, it's part of like the build a ladder thing, like looking around the world to see stuff rather than focusing in on like the pain and what's going on in my head. So I just kind of like look around and observe and I just started to notice this pattern of crawd. Let me just get this, you guys. Let me get this. I wonder if you guys can hear me ruffling about, probably, because I'm wearing a pin mic. Okay. Okay, so. This is my sticker collection. It's a, it's this book where, wait, why won't this auto focus? Anyhow, it's a sticker release paper travel book, so you can add stickers. So like, here's my collection. Um, this is from a clothing store in Harajuku that I went to called Candy Strippers. And I was like, what a name. And I got all this like really awesome clothing that was like 70% off because it was at the end of the year. And it was all like super X, 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 X large, which means like it fits me. But for J Japanese people, it's like super baggy. Um, and then there's John First, who is the DJ I was just talking about. And then these are stickers from cool Japanese packaging that I really like. Like it came on the, um, like actually on the fruits and stuff. And I just thought it was quite, it was quite cool looking. And then 
We've got different like shops that I've been to. So this I made a video about in Tokyo Tours, Nakano Broadway. And this is Thrash Zone in Yokohama. It's one of my all time favorite um, beer shops and they do like heavy metal music the whole time you're there. Very difficult to um, get into. It, it, not because it's like trendy, but because it's really small and they're very picky. Like you can only have two beers, like you can't stand, like they have all these rules. I left a Google review on it. Um, this is my bud Dembski. He does music as well. And it's a very cool sticker. And then we have this. So this is what he gave me and I didn't stick it in. So this guy is like a famous tattoo artist, or famous graffiti artist. And he had it on his phone. He's like, yeah, no problem, don't worry. So I'm, I don't want to stick it, but this is my sticker collection. Yes. Um, Seesaw McGraw says, I put all my stickers on my bicycle. I wish I could, because if I put it on my bicycle, then I would um, get like water damage on them. So I'm concerned. I sticker my table. That's what I do back, but I brought my, can my table back to Canada with me. Thank you, guy with socks. Uh, I'm gonna describe what I've just seen. It's a Shiba dog and he uh, is shaking his body from left to right and he's surrounded by red hearts. Thank you very much for that. Uh, yeah, so these are all the crazy things I'm doing. Oh, Ellie used a command, the merch. Check out the gift shop. All designs made by the Royal Scribe Martina. You can head out to um, www.kingkogi.ca. So king and then kogi.ca. And that's all my um, designs and stuff like that. Yeah, th th that's, um, that's my story, you guys. My little travel sticker book. <laughs> now, <clears throat> let's get back to, let's get back to, to bringing these clothing items to my friends. I'm gonna just toss my ice pack in the freezer, you guys. Do, do, do. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Pure F1 vibes right there. I like this outfit. I think it's very cool. Um, let's see if, do I wanna match it with like, no, I think I, think I like what I'm wearing already. Maybe the hat needs to go, right? But I'm not gonna wear a fedora. All right, this is good. Yes, I will make this purchase. Yes, I'd like to wear it out. Hi, Gamer Lioness 23 You've been following me on YouTube since the came to days. Well, welcome to, um, welcome to King Kogi. This is my channel now. And I don't stream all the time. But when I do stream, it tends to be for like three hours at a time. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a little gold record on the back of this. Ooh, Tegubin says, I just finished my MF F MFA in print media this last May and a couple of our teachers and many students are in the same kind of graffiti, wheat pasting, stickering scene here in Portland and around the PNW. Well, Portland's such a cool place. Portland is just a dope area. Um, but that sounds so cool. Like I, I just think it's fun because it's like a whole hidden world that exists within your normal world. I'm aware that I'm back in here, but I didn't say hi. I always say hi to Sable. Well, thanks so much, Sable. That's really nice of you. Thanks, Sable. She works so hard. I basically didn't know that if you talk to Sable, she eventually talks to you, but I would just always go over and clap for her like a weirdo. <laughs> uh, guten Morgen. Good morning from Germany, from D. Olivia J. You just missed our talk about bread. Germans do love breads. I mean, maybe you don't, but yeah, there is good bread. It is, it is definitely a, a strange little a little treat, Gamer Linus, depending on how you like streaming. Maybe because you're on Twitch, maybe you watch people um, stream a particular way and this might be uh, a well weirdo stream. But, but that's just how I am. All right, everyone, welcome to my secret island area. I have this little cove over here. There are my cherry trees, someone was asking. I've got my flower and my flower path that I've laid down. And then this area here is like super whimsical and lovely looking. And I have a secret um, portal right there, see? So you can take it to another part of the island, but we're not gonna do that right now. Volume could be a little louder. It's still audible, but could use some wiggle room for maxed out. Okay, which audio specifically do you want me to up the audio of my voice, but then everyone has to adjust it? Or do you mean the background audio? Let me know. That I have to wait for the uh, for the uh, lag. Um, Jess Mess says, how is Memers? 
Memeski is doing wonderful. No return of the crystals. Um, he is looking so healthy, which makes me thrilled. My mom has turned him into a, like he needs to be any more pampered, but he's extra pampered. Um, he's just, he's just doing so well. I'm so happy. I miss him like heck. She sends me tons of photos, uh, but I know that him traveling, you know, 14 hours plus would be absolute hell for him. And then he might get his crystals back. So right now I just think about when I go to Toronto, I get to visit him and my mom is doing like so well with him. They kind of like keep each other company. So yeah, Meemski is doing great. He gets brushed every day. He's amazing. Dynamics Duo, thank you. I'm glad you like the island. Good night to Loveletta. You're going to bed soon. So happy you could stop in for a bit and hope I heal up quickly. Thank you very much. Stephanie says, is there an underground sticker roll that I'm just learning about? Yes, there absolutely is. Every city pretty much has an underground sticker scene that you don't know about. Got to check the back of poles, um, utility boxes, the back of stop signs. Like the sign is facing that way and you kind of go around the back. Uh, you got to kind of like, you really kind of got to crawl around, not crawl around, but like you got to look on different angles and you'll start to see it and you'll start to see a pattern. That's the fun part. So I have a folder on my phone. It's called stickers of Japan. I have stickers of Tokyo and I take a photo when I see it, I add it to my folder and then I start to notice a pattern. So yes, Olivia324, the video when you're in Canada playing tunes with memers in your lap is the best and my mom loved it too. I was pretty shocked. I was pretty shocked that he was like into just sitting there like a little marshmallow. Can't wait to play with him again. Um, yes, uh, the, that is my, my, my rug, the same rug, Heather Wheeler, that I have in Canada too. I'm, I made it. <laughs> Take it to the sacks, everyone. Now let's go to the sin. Oh, Stephanie, there are so many stickers in Toronto. When I was there in the winter time, I mean, when I was there, I was totally capturing pictures with stickers everywhere. This is really hard to play the drums and beat with music. No, <laughs> it's not gonna work, I fail. Uh, yeah, so this is my little Martina area and I've got this little fireplace set up and you know, it's, it's, not, it's not set up the way you're thinking, but if I do that, it looks really pretty and I've got my little fish flying. This is actually for like girls and boys days in Japan, uh, but I just keep it up year round because I think it's super cute. And I built a little ladder so that I can just like easily get away from here. And then this area is where my housing is. So I've got, oh no, it's gonna totally land in the water again. This is Alfonso's house. I was telling you about the guy who likes toys. So I put the duckies out here and stuff. Um, you can sit here and like read a book and gaze over the waterfalls. Let's chase down that package. Where is it? It's gone. And this is the campsite area. Oh, there's the, I have so many Sahara tickets. I gotta come back here. Um, this is the campsite area and it's very messy right now, but I have someone apparently staying at the camp. There they are. Okay, I hope it's somebody ridiculous that I, that I can have on the island. Here we go. Love Song 31, already tempted to search for stickers when you're in Seoul this spring. Definitely look for those sillies. Sillies. I looked up lilies and dark at the same time. Oh my God, how cute is this bear? <gasps> Are you nice, Blue Bear? Hi there, I'm Blue Bear, and I'm toast camping on your awesome island. It's kind of random that I came to. I know the name of my island is hilarious, but I'm glad I did. This place is the bomb. I'm so jelly of everyone who lives here full time. Let's hang out while I'm here, Peach. It'll be fun. What a weird thing to say. Please move to my island. The air meshes real well with me, for real. It's great air, Peach. It's Peach business. Hey, how do you feel about playing a game with me? If you win, I'll give you my athletic outfit. Great, has it been used? Um, does it fit me? Let's just go for it. No, thank you. We're gonna go with this. Here we go. First, I'm gonna give these cards a shuffle. Oh my gosh, I've drawn one, you can't believe it. Okay guys, red or black. Red or black, red or black. 
If I don't get his used, sweaty, salty athletic outfit, I'll have all of you to blame. That's what I have. Oh, you guys used to have her? Oh, oh, he, her, her? I don't know, Blue Bear. Bl let's go with they. They're so fucking cute. Um, how does one pronounce my island name? I like to go Chome. Chome is the last part. It's a Japanese letter or Japanese kanji that you use to talk about the area that you're in. Um, and so Chome is like, like a borough almost or a zone. And so I decided to make it like cute face Chome. We've got black, 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 red, black, and black. We're going with black, you guys. Let's find out. It's a spade. That's black. Thank you, everybody, for this wonderful, sweaty, athletic outfit. I'm so pleased. 13 Flags has been looking for Blue Bear for a year now. But how do I get them to move to my island? Like, how do I convince them? Oh, okay. Glam it up here. Huh? I can move here? That'd be low key, but I'm not sure. Let's play a game. Oh my gosh. If I win, I'll move here. What do you say? Ah, <laughs> you guys. All right, time for a card game. Oh no. You guys. If you don't help me with this one, and Blueberry doesn't help my eyes, I'll be devastated. Renner Black, Renner Black. Renner Black. Good morning, Paprika Panko. You have just arrived um, when we're trying to figure out if it's red or black. So that's why the screen is flooded with reds and blacks. Ellie says you've got to play their game for like three days in a row. What, really? Oh no. Ugh, you guys. And the last day they normally make you build something for them. What? Okay, we've got one black. We've got red. Flaming Spider Nato goes for black again. Schmolder 96 goes for red. Schmolder, is your name supposed to be like Mulder from X-Files? I'm curious. So much pressure, Katie, I know. Ellie goes for black. Lovely Fantasy says red. It does seem like gambling, even though I'm not a gambler. Red, black, red, black, 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 red, red, red. Ah, with a D2 black in a row? Okay, we're gonna do red, red. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's it? Like, that's it? You just can't... You can't, like, do it again? It's Sydney. My last name is from the X-Files. I see. Oh. I don't want your freaking dinnerware. That's it, you guys? Oh no. I know. Why is everyone yelling white? There's no white. <laughs> oh, boo. No black. Oh. <laughs> I just keep talking to him. I just keep, like, harassing him. Really? Ugh. Talk to her, we'll do it again. Really? You use an amiibo. If so, in three days in a row, you want something crafted. But if so, she'll just naturally into your campsite. I had an amiibo, but I gave it to my niece because she got Animal Crossing. And I was like, here, you can have my amiibo. Oh, I need to get a new amiibo. Okay, you guys, four cards. Heart, diamond, spade, and club. We're going to guess which suit is being drawn. And if this doesn't work, it's going to run away, stressed out. Which suit? Dun 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 dun. Ah. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. I think it's either heart, or spade. Which one, you guys? Oh no, Ellie got scolded for swearing. <laughs> Sorry, Ellie. Uh keep harassing the blue bear. Someone's gonna show up on this live stream and they're just gonna watch me harassing this blue bear for like a very long extended amount of time. Clubs, hearts, spades, hearts, diamonds, hearts. You guys are not helpful at all. I thought hearts as well. I'm just gonna go for hearts. I'm just gonna go for hearts. 
<sighs> you guys, this is crazy and I don't know what to do. Blue Bear, look me in my eyes. You must join my island. No, Blue Bear. I know it's awkward for you, but you're all the pastel colors that I want. <laughs> uh, I don't want the dotted rain jacket. Joe sure, Martina, what did you do during the day when you were trying to recover? Why not stay? I am like empirically awesome. All right, you know what? Take it down a little notch, take it down a little notch. How about we settle this once and for all with a game? If you win, I move here. If I win, we bring the whole thing around. Okay, all right, this time you guys. Uh huh. Okay. LX77. You have just woken up. How are, am I, am I, what did you miss? Okay, basically, I have to choose a heart, a diamond, a spade, or a club. And if I get it right, this adorable blue bear is going to move to my island. And then I will make it wear many cute costumes. But if I don't get it right, it won't move in. Ah, it's very stressful. I don't need like a gambling. Okay. Okay. Love song 31. Should have listened to me. I know. <laughs> okay, I know. I'm going to do freaking diamond. Should I do diamond? Oh, club. Everyone's feeling club. I was thinking either club or diamond. The guessing is stressful. This is my last time. And then otherwise, blueberry, you're out. Oh, oh no. One of the black cards. Heart club. Okay, we're going to do club. We're going clubbing. We're going to the club. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Some of you guys are totally right. Well, you know what? Mischievous face to scare you. Because you didn't come to the island. You're missing out. Also, have some confetti. That's right. We're going to have a small confetti party. And then I'm going to wave goodbye. And then set your camp on fire. What? What was that last part? I'm going to build a moat around your tent so you cannot escape. <sighs> well, that was sad. All right, we've got athletic outfits. Let's see what we got here. We can give it to some of our very, very weird. Okay, and we've got a shawl and dress combo. I do like that. And we've got my jumpsuit worker outfit. Okay. Where is my, where did my old school jacket go? <laughs> it's okay, Ellie. Also, I have no problem with people um, swearing. I have an automatic bot like set up and it automatically just chooses the, um, the words that can't be swearing. Uh, but you know, other people come on and say other stuff. So you just have to like a blanket swear kind of situation. I'm gonna make him an awful I can't uh, uh, refuse. You guys didn't happen to hear me mumble that set on fire thing, did you? All right, well, I'm gonna pick some of this stuff. This got a bit, this got a bit weedier. Oh, there's my little crazy athletic friend. Hey buddy, I just got a bunch of stuff you're gonna totally love. Hey, you ever wonder how ghosts get ripped? You think they do deadlifts? Uh-huh. Hey, yeah, uh, is it weight training time? No, dude, this is for you. Huh? What do you got, Godzilla? I've got something you are gonna just love. It's an athletic outfit. And you're gonna try it on right now, trust me. Uh-huh. I know you're gonna look good flexing it. Oh yeah. <laughs> a diner counter chair. Thanks, bud. Yeah, ancient flounder bots can be overzealous for sure. Oh, good night, Spook. Thank you so much. Have a good night's sleep. Oh, I love it. Love him in his thing. 
yeah, I've got mushrooms growing and I've got all these little decorations. Um, someone was asking about that. I'm trying to get these last, oh no! I hate when that happens. Uh, I try to keep the island like as natural as possible. Like my feeling is that the island should kind of be like quite natural. Um, I had a very kind of like American uh, gorilla that lived here who was super buff and always called me like baby or something. And so I put that uh, Statue of Liberty in front of him and it looked quite good actually. And then I have Godzilla. Pretty amazing. Steph says, thanks for streaming this afternoon, Martina. I've had a really rough week and it's nice to build a ladder with something relaxing. Good. Welcome to um, the relaxing island of Martina where things don't really make sense. And we do threaten tiny blue bears to set their tents on fire. But like, besides that, everything else is fine. We run away from tanukis, all that jazz, right? Oh, good night, Tainted Crimson of the unpronounceable island. North American heading to bed. All right. Um, oh, I just completely forgot that I can't pick this up. We're going to go drop off some of my baller collection of pumpkins. What? Let's take a look at how many pumpkins we got. We got a lot of pumpkins. I can get more pumpkins, though. Can I learn this? I already know this, I think. Oh, I didn't have a cardboard. Thanks for so much. Hope you're enjoying the chill stream. Flaming, wait, flaming manzana. Flaming manzana. So this is my upper level. I have purposely let all these grow in. I think they look really pretty when the weeds grow in. I have little fairy circles. And then this is my poolside area. So I had like things set up here for the summertime and I've got my pool and I had like a DJ station and then I took it all down for the summer. That's where the DJ station was. Uh, but this is kind of like the chill out area. So you can like come up here and just like chill in the summertime, right? It's fun to see how many international your viewers are hearing like good night, but me being midday and you just having your morning shower. Yeah, Eric, it's, it's pretty cool, right? That's the thing about the internet that's so wild. It's like you can kind of join all the countries together when before we were limited to like what was happening within our own countries and our own, you know, you, like areas, if you will, right? But now you can kind of find out what's happening in different parts of the world and like your perspective kind of changes. Like you think to yourself, at Christmas and New Year's for me, I'm always like, oh, it's Christmas Eve in Canada, how exciting. Or like, oh, like Australia and New Zealand just celebrated you know, New Year's, like we're coming up close. So I kind of feel much more this like global sense of community now than I did before. Yeah, that's the story. Look, you guys, I have two lots available too. We're gonna take my warp tube and uh, we're gonna warp tube and find out where it goes. In we go. Secret warp tube. Oh, good night, Stephanie. Uh, go look for your stickers in Toronto when you get the chance. Definitely. And then send me a message on wherever it is that we communicate Instagram or if you prefer YouTube or whatever and let me know what stickers you found because they're there. There's a really funny, like, vegan ones that pop up as well. Good morning, your beautiful peeps from Sweden. Maria's up. You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to reinvest this. There you go. Good night, Beth. Have a chill weekend. Uh, Rita, yeah, the live stream will stay on YouTube. So once I'm finished live streaming for today, I will then um, upload it to YouTube so that Anybody that missed out on it will get a chance to enjoy the live stream as well. Star Jelly says, Hi Martina, I'm an old follower from many years ago. I just rediscovered your new channel. I'm happy to say you're still creating. I'm enjoying the new content and glad you're looking well. Thank you so much, Star Jelly. I just recently had um, dental surgery. I had three teeth pulled and I am just trying to chill, not overexert myself. Uh, and um, yeah, it's been nice to have company while I just eat soup. So much soup. It's just been like soup upon soup upon soup. Hoping soon I will graduate into like the uh, juke, the kanji level. That's what I'm hoping for. You guys, I don't want to sell my gold. I'm not going to sell my gold. No. But I have a lot of red roses, so you can take that. Schmack it, boys. Uh -huh. I agree with this. Thank you very much. Oh, you can buy 10 Gs. Oh, really? And does it make a bigger plant? Never tried that. Mm. Uh, 
JTC, you mean will I keep streaming in general in my life or just for today? Because I think I'm heading slowly towards a wrap up because it's almost 2 p.m. in Japan and I've only had breakfast and I had yogurt, a green juice, and a bowl of soup. I think I need to get my secondary soup on. Um, but I'm nearly finished here. Oh, you guys, look. This is Spudgy's area. I made the flag Spudgy, obviously. And this is his little tiny kennel. This is cute doggy here. And the reason I have that cute dog is because this kennel, which I painted blue, um, is terrifying. Look. What is that? That's really scary. Oh, the weather's starting to get crappy because the weather's crappy here. Oh, there's my scary kangaroo penis person. Hey, hey girl. This, um, do you want this? I'm gonna give you, I don't know how it's gonna work. Where's my dress? I really like this, but I think it might look really nice on her. There you go. See how you feel about this. Yeah? Oh, it's not her style. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty good. Look, it's got like a little scarf pocket. Yes, I'm gonna harvest my pumpkins and then um, I'm gonna, like, I can't eat pumpkin soup after this. Too many pumpkins. Uh, Evie, I have a dog toy. That's what the whoop, whoop, whoop dog is. And uh, if you touch it, you can turn it off and on. And then I got that kennel and then I was so scared when I saw that growly dog and I was like, I don't like that growly dog. Um, and so I decided to put the happy dog in front of it because that's way more um, spudgy than a growly dog. Spudgy was the worst guard dog on the planet. I mean, to be honest, he growled, not growled, he barked when the doorbell rang, so I guess that's helpful, but he was just so excited to see people and he terrified so many K-pop stars. It brings so much joy to my heart because that tiny little dog just terrified people. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. And they're just like, get out I'm like, he's fine, he won't bite. But it was so funny. And then the people who love dogs would immediately just be like, ah, and like pick him up, you know? So, yeah. I think those are all my, I think those are all my, get out of the way, little. Oh, I was going to give my peeps on my island the cute little outfits that I bought them. So I got that um, athletic outfit, that like the dance shirt thing that I'm gonna give to, to um, Tangy and maybe something else. Wish I could give them something, eh? Good night from Texas, Dynamic Duo. Also the name of a, of a Korean group. Well, good name. Finally, a comforting chit chat stream that lasts several hours. Yes. Welcome to the little chit chat stream of the King Kogi airstream, of the airship, I should say. I've had to change the the, uh, the feeling, you guys, of King Kogi Kingdom. It is a kingdom, but I don't like the acronyms. So instead we're going with the King Kogi village, but also, of course, it is the airship. The airship that uh, flies around to different places and just has very good vibes. So welcome. Good night, eyeglass trains of mine. The Spooji. Yeah, such a good one. Such a very, very good one. So blessed to have met that amazing little creature. I don't think he was a dog. I think he was a dragon. Oh, I didn't even realize I had, I've got mail. I had a weird dream about you last night. Well, here's an umbrella. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Klaus. Oh, mom. Ah, that brief time of year we were indecisive. Should I bring a jacket? Yes or no? Okay, thanks, mom. Nice. Let's find out what's in these magical boxes. Oh, a cushion. Thanks, mom. And a striped umbrella. Uh, pretty cool. Excellent umbrella. I have a whole bunch of umbrellas. I like it. That's right, Love Song 31. Fortune idols will never understand the terrifying reign of King Spudgy. They will never understand it. And you know what's really funny? If you guys remember, um, BTS won the upcoming Rookie Award with the Golden Spudgy, and they were the the company was the coolest company I ever dealt with regarding not seeing them as like untouchable. So like when I told them that they won this award, they were like, for sure, we would love to do this. Um, the management team was so, so, so smart. 
because everybody else was like, um, all the other companies were just so like, no, like we can't do something on a YouTube channel or it has to be here, it has to be there. And I'm just like, dude, you don't have to be on this YouTube channel or not, but it's for you guys. Like, obviously it's gonna help me with getting like views and stuff like that. Um, but mostly it's because people don't know you overseas because the Korean stuff is locked down in Korea. So like, this is just gonna help you out. And BTS's like company was pure, you know, um, yeah, sure, let's do this. And now BTS is just like freaking hilariously huge. Uh, it always makes me, uh, always makes me laugh to think of them winning the rookie award with the golden spudgy. I have a meme shirt. You guys, isn't that amazing? All right, so wait, I need to put this in my pocket. So I don't know alphabetical time type. Uh, I guess type. Where, what did I buy them? I got something purple, right? Oh, I have two of these. That's right, I need to give this to somebody. Oh no, what am I doing? Okay, I just need to put things, I just need to access the stuff and put it in my pockets. I don't need to. No, I did the same thing twice. Good night, Masetta. Putting yourself to bed. Thanks for the stream. It's been relaxing. That's happy. I'm happy to hear that. Okay. There we go. Chloe is a big army. A uh, huge army. That's the, the fan club, right? I am a... Um, oh my god, I forgot what it's called, you guys. <gasps> How can I say that I am when I'm not? Big, ban, big Bang with the crown... Um, light switch, like, how can I not remember what that's called? I feel so sad and embarrassed about this. And I love 21 as well. Those are my two favorites. Look, I have an Ann Young shirt. Isn't it amazing? Hello. Um, you feel outdated that you don't know BTS, but you love Shiny. Um, I loved Shiny too. I remember everything about them starting out and I thought they were just the most like epic group. Like every one of their songs that came out was like Juliet. Like I still sing it. I'll be like, Juliet. Oh, you know, or like when they first came out with, um, I'm so like all their songs were so catchy and yeah, it was just a, they were, they were really like, they were like the complete, you know, group, but I really worry for BTS because the stress of all this kind of stuff that happens with you really makes them kind of melt down because they don't have privacy and they don't have their own lives. So I really, I, I think they're taking a break now. I really hope, um, that they're going to be okay. I don't want to see more tragedy happen to them. Chinese is a freaking heartbreak. What did I buy? I bought a purple, where is it? I bought a purple dance jumpsuit, right? Where is it? Has it, is it not in my collection yet? Is that what's, oh, there it is. That's it. Dancing jacket, move to jacket. Blackjacks for 21, absolutely correct and VIPs, VIPs. How can I forget that? I feel stressed out. Soyeon Dorito, that's right. I remember hearing the Soyeon Dorito um, live at a concert. Where everyone in the audience went, Soyeon Dorito. And I was like, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it, was, it was a really good era. Like, I mean, I know things have to change, but I think there was an era of like K-pop when it was just really new and fresh and exciting. And things were just kind of like, no one was sure what to do. And Groups were getting like crazy, but now they're like so streamlined. Like everyone's so perfect. The clothing is so perfect. The, the videos are so perfect. It's pretty perfect, right? But I don't listen to K-pop anymore. I listen to old K-pop. I listen to the K-pop that I was um, used to listening to. So that's what, I, that's what I listen to. But not now I listen to, I listen to so much music. I, I have like on Spotify, I search through four or five different types of recommendation lists and then I add them every month I make a playlist. So I make um, a August, September, July, whatever. And in those playlists, I drop music that I'm enjoying and I write down the name of what's kind of going on. So right now it's like September with like a wisdom to little tooth or like, you know, July heat wave or August heat wave, or I have ones called COVID when COVID was up. So you can kind of go back in time and see what you were listening to during that month. It's, it's a pretty good, good way to kind of like um, keep your music together. Heading off to class, Schmolder96. No problems for the streaming. I'll be uploading everything to um, my main YouTube page for anyone who wants to, uh, you know, chill. Hi, Emery Alice. Emery's Alice. I see that the sun has decided to come out again. And I am so blown out. Better? That looks better. More new presents. All right, I think, I think that's about it. I have some 
I'm gonna bring that to the girl and then I would like to give, um, yeah, I think that's about it for now. All right. I'm gonna put this into storage. I'm gonna put this into storage. No, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Okay, storage, storage, storage. Fancy jacket, vampire costume going out. Um, dress shirt. I haven't tried this on, have I? Not bad. And jump work suit is going into storage. And now we're going to go give our friends some things on the island. Oh, do I like, uh, let me see. Yatsuro Yamashita? Uh, yeah, Yamashita is legend. Oh no, it's raining and I just put my umbrella away. Uh, he's amazing and finding his stuff on vinyl is like so tough and expensive. But, oh, and um, uh, Dan, the guy that I work with, right? Dan did an amazing like mix. Pick that embarrassment up off the ground. Doing Yamashito and MF Doom, who is one of my all time favorite rappers. It's absolutely incredible. And like, I don't even remember now what the difference is. They sound like, it sounds so smooth and so good. You think it's just the way that it is. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go out in, let's see, um, perhaps a mushroom umbrella today, or should we go for a panda bear umbrella? Hmm, it's all about the choices, right? Got double strawberry umbrellas. I think we're gonna, I think I'm, I think I'm feeling the mushroom. Yes, I'm feeling the mushroom. Okay, just randomly sit down. <laughs> this is why I can't game. I mean, it's confusing for everybody. Mushroom it is. And I'd like to go back into my old school jacket, please. Yep, and my... Off, and mushroom umbrella. Love it. Wish I had a mushroom umbrella in real life. Okay, let's go get ourselves a uh, fine tangy. Tangy! Tangy, are you home, Tangy? Tangy, I have to talk to you. Tangy, let me in. Good morning, Sam in the UK. Good night to Desiree in Arkansas. Oh, she's still making like couches and stuff. Here's a gift for you. Yes, you're gonna love it. It's a dance jacket. I know you love dancing. I'm so excited. Trez Pronto. Yeah. <laughs> she loves purple and she's a dance person. No, it's fine. A sailor shirt, thank you. Good night, Mandy in uh, Toronto. Umbrella time. Ah, all right. And we have, looks like it's definitely gonna rain in Japan as well. The sun is out, which is very odd, but wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna go this way. Oh yeah, everything's glowing now. Mm -hmm. I wonder if everyone's gonna be out. Oh, uh, I already gave him a vampire costume. I need to give someone else a vampire costume. Who do we wanna see in a vampire costume? That's the real question. Who can we find in a vampire costume? Oh wait, Sherb? Oh, Sherb, you're so cute. I gave him that hat. He's already got a vampire costume. <laughs> I basically gave all these various people vampire costumes. Hi, Minch and Lindsay. Long time no talk. I missed you. I am here. I am doing a stream, recovering from my dental surgery. Okay, we're going to see if Kyle is home and if he will wear a vampire costume. For my Hi, Martina from a small town in Austin. AOS, I'm guessing it's Austin. Hello, Darcy Rose. Hey Kyle, You're, I gave him that bed because I felt bad. He sleeps on cardboard. Ah, welcome back, my BFF. Always a pleasure to have you stop by Chalet de Kyle. This is for you, bud. Look, he's wearing my steampunk goggles every time it gets me, gets me laughing. We're gonna give him 
He's totally not going to like it, but I don't care. Is this a vampire costume? Let me see in it, buddy. Yes! He looks amazing! Look at him! Yes, I would love a striped shirt. I love, I love how everybody on the island is just like have clothing on them that they're willing to give away. Ama absolutely amazing. I gave him all this stuff. He used to sleep on this bed. That's what he used to sleep on. How embarrassing, right? Oh, Vanellery Garden. You haven't played in ages. You make me want to work on my island. Yeah, every once in a while I just get the urge to be like, oh man, I got to fix up my island. I gave him this really cool street organ. And it jumps set. And he's got a bass guitar. And he's also got um, this camera that turns on. I think it's so funny, watch. Oh, and it's on. I gave him this as well. I thought he's so dramatic. He needs to have something like this in his house, right? <laughs> His house is getting so crowded. He does look like a refined Bram Stoker, Sai. That's a really good point. I think he looks very dapper. Uh, Minji Lindsay says, I think I'm moving to Colorado soon, and you certainly always have a place to stay with me. Not sure if you remember me from the early Soul Tube days, but I still keep up with you. Soul Tube! Soul Tube was, um, so YouTube never ended up having an office in Korea. And so a lot of people would have like these YouTube events or YouTube parties. There's a Google office, but there isn't like, um, like LA or Toronto even, like New York, they have like a space, like spaces like Tokyo. Um, and so then um, someone was organizing uh, different events. I think his name, I think it might've been Michael. He did this like, um, uh, Hangul song or something. It might have been Michael, but SoulTube was like kind of like a gathering of YouTubers from Seoul. And we would like meet up and um, they'd have like events every year. And one time I think I went to the one by the Han River, but I was so busy as well having to film something later on with like a TV show or something, which I learned to just stop doing TV show stuff in Korea because it takes so much time and they don't pay you anything. And you just basically do like five or six days of filming and it's exhausting and the schedules are terrible and I was like I get the K-pop star problem because this is like stressful. <laughs> oh Klaus. I want to give him the other sailor top. Do you think I should give him the other sailor top? I need to see what it looks like first. Hello, Ontario. Phantom of the Opera vibes, very, very true. Hello to Montreal. Kyle is smug, Kyle's very smug, but um, I, I, I liked uh, kind of breaking him, like getting to know him in that way. Yes, what a distinguished gentleman indeed. It's true. Uh, Jasmine says, hello, Martina, just going to bed, but always nice to catch up for a while. Take care, thank you um, very much. Oh, Desiree says they've closed them all down. It was sad, I used to go to the YouTube space LA. Oh wow, really? They, they closed it down. So eventually what happened was because I opened up the studio, um, the EYK studio in Korea, I was able to have host events for YouTube. So we had all these YouTubers come across like Mystery Man. And like, that's when I first um, met a lot of other LA YouTubers that I never like would have connections with in any way. And um, we did lots of like events with them and around Seoul and stuff like that. That was really fun. But yeah, I guess they still don't have a space. I think the Tokyo one, they were redoing it. I wonder if it's gonna open. All right, well, this rainy day, uh, it's nearly, it's 2.14 for me. I think I'm going to head back into my house as I run in the bushes like a creeper, change into some pajamas and um, sign off for a bit from Animal Crossing and eat some, eat some soup, as predicted. Mushroom umbrella is amazing, you guys. Yeah, the smug villagers definitely flirt. They're always like, what have you gotten yourself into? And I'm like, all right, calm down. Glad to keep you company, Art of Evie. Should I change in this mini fridge? I think I shall change in this mini fridge. All right, we're gonna get into my, my comfy clothing. I have a couple of options here. 
I have a nice like long um, plaid plaid shirt that I love. Oh wait, wait, it's probably here. It's just so Canadian, you guys. <laughs> and I'm gonna put on my little um, hat that I wear to bed to keep my hair back. There she is, very not looking excellent. Oh shoot, I was gonna bring those to somebody. Uh, bandage up after my long day of dental surgery. And um, I think we're gonna put on some comfy, comfy slippers. Let's see, green ones are cute. Oh, I could put on my elf boots, a little mage, oh, these are cute too. They're like little animal slippers. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Is there a place that you can change beside the fridge? I thought the fridge was the only place you could change. So I always just change in my fridge. <laughs> I had no idea. I love putting the, the stuff in the fridge. Guaguang Zhu said, I had so much fun after 14 years of watching. This was the first interaction I've had with you, Martina, and you're so lovely and fun. Oh my goodness, you've been watching for 14 years? Look at us growing old together. I slapped my face again, you guys. Ow. That's pretty incredible. Uh, I am. I'm, people might say this, but I'm exactly the same that you might see me on camera, except I swear more in person uh, and uh, I am very talkative. And then later on, I go home and go, oh my gosh, did I say something wrong or did I say something offensive? And then I rethink over the conversation just to make sure that I didn't say anything offensive. And then I beat myself up about it. So um, that's the only thing you're not going to see on camera. <laughs> but otherwise, I am exactly the same because I'm not... Uh, I think I started in the YouTube time where there was no YouTube concept, so it was like, oh, it's just who I am. And then people like vibe with that, then that's okay, but you don't have to like act like somebody because there was no possibility of it being a career. But now I think it's a career for people, so they go, oh, I'm gonna go into it and be this way, which is okay, but I think it's hard to keep going that way because you're not being yourself, right? You don't wanna sound like a total like be yourself, but that's personally um, what I think. Uh, Yoshikana, yes, I definitely change my person when I come home to log off. It seems like only the right thing to do. All right, I'm going to um, move into big time mode here. Yeah. I'm gonna sign off of my Wii in the background here. Ready to wrap things up? Yeah, let's save an end. Hi, Alex M. Well, you guys, I had an absolutely um, delightful time. Thank you so much for the company. It's around 2.17 p.m. in the afternoon in Tokyo. I think I'm gonna have some lobster bisque or maybe um, make my broccoli soup with the everyone suggested cheese. But yeah, I'm just gonna chill a little bit. I think my ice, <laughs> Chloe, fellow over thinkers unite. That's right, Hannah, on camera, you won't see the mental anguish. But sometimes like, you know, I'll blurb out a long thing about what I'm thinking and that does end up on camera, but. Oh, Destiny says, I've been spending time with you since middle school. You filled my high school and college days with so much color. That's so wonderful. I'm so happy to hear that. That's really wonderful. Thank you guys. That's great. Um, okay. I guess it's time. Oh no, Kelsey, I, I'm leaving. You just caught me live now, but I'm leaving. And you guys, if you saw on Instagram, these are my sock curls. I went to sleep with socks in my hair and this is how they turned out. They're like unicorn tails. Oh, I recently redyed it as well. I did like a purple and pink gradient and I think it looks, um, I think it looks really nice. Very nice to see you guys. Thank you so much for everybody for super chatting and for chilling with me. I will re-upload this video onto YouTube. So if you didn't get a chance to see it, you can see all the shenanigans we got up to, um, including wanting to set a tiny blue bear's tent on fire. What? <laughs> Who said that? Good night from King Kogi. Eh, eh, wee, wee, wee. Take care, everybody. Stay well. Here comes my sign off screen.
Enough to tempt me. 